Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to another Blitz Tournament match. We have today the semifinals. We started with a field of open qual of 40 something entrants. Kind of crazy. We cut down to 16, and we are down to the top four. And in our top four, we have a returning guest. We have Generic. We witnessed him in the qualifier. He made it in the qualifier, and he's made it all the way to the semis. And he's got to go against the Thunder from Down Under, the nickname given to every single token Australian person, the best Australian person in any even online community. The Thunder Down Under, Spike, in the semifinals. Winner gets a ticket to the finals. Loser is done. Out of the tourney. Hasta la vista. I am Larock. I will be on the mic for you today, and I'm joined by Mr. Rippy. How you doing? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you. Sorry right. about that. And they are... How are we doing today, Lorac? <clears throat> I'm doing great. It's a good Friday. We got some donk in front of us. There's a weekly going on in the background, too, so there's a lot of donk action happening right now. But right now... I am looking, looking forward to this. What is Absolute this? barn burner of a match right here. Absolutely. These guys are no slouches. And we are just about ready, so I'm going to go tell them that we are good to go. Yep, I told them that, but I misspelled a word. Very funny. Good one, me. Better not misspell any hints. They better not either. We'll see what we got today. We got a lanky, chunky start, which is pretty weak. Uh, but we got trombone. Very good find. And we got vines and twirl, if we ever needed to get into Aztec for whatever reason. Very funny game. I can see a couple different ways of the seed breaking out and how our players are going to <clears throat> move ahead. Either way, I think that it's going to be interesting seeing some high-level players um, and how they stay the same and how they differentiate between these very interesting moves to begin with. And we're off just like that. Now, mind you, the starting moveset is like completely random, so it doesn't actually have any bearing on whether or not Aztec is early. If they found Vines or Twirl very early, it'd be like, okay, it's probably Aztec, but because they started with it, paradoxically, it actually doesn't have any meaning on where Aztec is. Kind of weird. So we see them both starting their chores, which is interesting, going for the back of Clumsy Dirt Patch. Incredible synchronized handstands. That's Olympic 10. What's our Gamba of the day? Five Kongs by 45 minutes? That's tight pace. That's doable. We've seen it a fair bit, but it is not trivial. A Galleon level two, no diving, classic. So now our players are going to have to exit back to Isles in order to get out of this stage, or out of this lobby. That, that is true and is very funny. Storage for Key 7, that's probably Key 7. The Night Dorka splat, so the Mushroom Isles. Oh, the Isles dirt that they're about to go get. Galleon, Galleon Metal on two. two. So no multi-paths right now, everything is just one for one. Makes sense. You kind of have to, like... Your key 2 isn't usually super locked. In this case, it's probably just on a Galleon Metal somewhere. Now, let's see what this way of the Especially Lord is, with though. Galleon this early, yeah. I like how both players are going... are almost doing the exact same thing. Very much seeing how these players are both playing at the top level. This is kind of what the, the starter has sort of been distilled down to. There's just so many things you can do and you kind of got to do them all, so just do everything. So like Seeing my the first split between them, between going to the back of Banana Horde versus getting the hints and dirt patch out of five is interesting. They're both going to do the same thing later and it doesn't really make a difference at this point. It's just right. one of those little things. It's the difference between like vanilla bean and French vanilla, especially when you come down to um people who are racing within five minutes of each other constantly. Coconut. Castle shops have something for Tiny K rule, so we got a Tiny K rule, and that's probably Mini or Feather. One of the two. Diddy can be found by Tiny and Forest. Ooh, alright. We got our first lead on a Kong. Into the Galleon Lobby Swim. Oh, wow. And we have orange throwing at the back of training barrels. Interesting. 
Caves is level 5, so we're not getting to caves where most of the orange requirements are anytime soon, so I'm kind of curious to see what this is. Wow, a Diddy Chew and a tiny potion. Potions. Fascinating. Wow. Well, hopefully they find a couple rainbow coins. That'll help a lot. We still don't know what our level 1 is. Well, Generic doesn't care about his level 4. He's going straight to level 1. We got Castle. Ooh, Castle Galleon? Not a killer I, opener. I don't mind that just because we're main not Whoa. three potions. That's, that's wild. That's big. We've only seen one. Donkey Diddy. Last time. Donkey wow. Rare Helm Order early. <laughs> Love that. The, so... Wait, I actually like castle that? right at the beginning, specifically because all of those switches. I believe that the key or the place that has the the two levels that have the highest number of colored switches are going to be probably castle and japes. So having either of those early just means that a good chunk of the level is going to be open up pretty quickly. Pretty good odds. Oh yeah, that was actually a level six or six GDs to get medallion. I did not see what level we got tiny in, but I know chunky gets her somewhere. He flew through that hint. Generic flew through that hint so fast. We'll see when Spike reads it. He's a very fast reader. Ant Hill Way of the Horde? Not ideal. That's not the main location. That is the GB you get in the Ant Hill. So Jimmy be Christmas. Bean leavers are... They're, they're eaten, but they're not, like, eaten. They're not, like, feasting. We're on watch. Well, if we also have to do with Tiny K rule, that does mean that we are going to have effectively three quarters of what we need in order to do bean check because we're gonna have to get a uh, saxophone in order to do her helm we're also gonna have to get um we're gonna have to get feather bow in order to fight k rule we're also have, gonna have to get mini monkey in order for her to fight k rule so all we're missing is pineapple launcher at this point and then bean leavers are feasting heavy oh yeah Oh, well, there it is. Feather in the castle shops. We're solved. Excellent. Makes life simple. Alright, it was castle with chunky gets you tiny, so that's actually pretty easy to get. Uh, what might be we looking for? I think we need another move before we can actually get tiny here, but... Pretty good odds we find tiny relatively early. You need to find Tiny before Diddy, because Tiny gets Diddy. That could be in the anthill, actually. That would kind of go crazy. Good peek on the Kasplat in there. Just has a crown. Good uh, good restraint from Generic to not go into the dungeon. There's nothing to do in there. You can't do anything, so just don't go in there at all. I mean, the best you could do is, like, maybe you could do, like, do something, like, really weird and, like, peek Lanky's dungeon or something with Trombone, but I'm not really sure that's going to work out well for you. I also don't think that loads unless you have sniper scope, so it's kind of a moot point on that one. It'll be there if you play the trombone pad, you can get close enough, but you need like a little extra to get closer. You either need like donkey kicks or twirl, of which we have neither, so I'm not... Look, unless some like magical rando tech has been invented lately to peak that, I don't know. Has Maybe. anybody been keeping an eye on what Jacob has been doing? Who knows? There are so many mad scientists. Jacob among them. I would not be surprised if magical tech got discovered as I... I'm, I'm literally speaking the tech into existence by, like, thinking that it might possibly exist somewhere. They're actually kind of really low on coins, and it was very fortunate that the three chunky coins next to candy were enough to buy for or pay for this feather bow. It's also not even paying off, ha, as it were right now, because they don't have tiny, so it's... Kind of close, regardless. Tiny's coming, but the problem, the big problem, is that Castle Shops is on the path to Tiny K rule, and that's it. So it, you probably don't need that feather for much. Maybe Funky has something else. Maybe Funky has like Mini or something, and then you have to figure out which of the feather or Mini is useless. Well, so no, Lorak, we know we have I a use for Mini, so. We have a little time to talk about this right now as they're doing their chores. Indeed. Since we know that Feather Bow is only going to be, presume, presuming that that's the item, since we know that Feather Bow is only going to be useful for fighting K. Rule, does that eliminate everything in the Beanstalk area? Oh gosh, it might. Unless Mini Monkey's there. Do, do, oh, did we kill the Bean already? Could be a Kong there. We might have killed the Bean already. That's, that's actually tragic. 
For those of you who were curious about why I asked that question, all right, let's take a peek at this boss before I continue this thought. And it's nothing. For those of you who were curious about why I asked that question specifically to Larock, that's something referred to as negative information. By exploring something that is hinted as this is only on the path to X. And that known to that... be hinted. No other possibilities. Exactly. So that that is specifically with multipath hints as well, is that we tend to have um, exclusive uh, lockouts. In that case, that means that anything that would normally be considered a feather bow check is not necessarily or inherently going to be uh, part of Way of the Horde, whether it be picking up keys or not. Now, there's a minor... I think there's a minor exception in Forest with regards to the shops. I'm not 100% on that. You would be able to answer that uh, more specifically. The, is the shop back there considered a uh, feather bow lock check? Oh, it sure is. It's, it's okay, dead so as a doornail. If that's the case, that means that that shop in particular is going to be dead and very likely everything that is going to be in the Beanstalk area is going to be dead. It is Very likely, though, yes. it's, there's always a chance that there could be some crazy logic or fuffle, but we are talking at the person who would, or talking with the person who would best understand it. it. It wouldn't be on the path to any keys. It might lead you to a Kong, because Kongs aren't related to multi at all. But it wouldn't be on That's the path to any keys point. or any other move that you would need to fight K. Rule. So if we have a chunky phase, it wouldn't lead you to, like, punch or hunky or something back there. And that is a very important amount of information. You can, you, you can do a lot with knowing what isn't required. And it is commonly leveraged in these seeds as as we've adapted to the multipath that came with 3.0. People have uh people gotten real good real fast. Multipath is probably the main contributor to the general speed up of 3.0. Oh, of course. And minor note there, as we looked at Cranky Shop, as we were going up, there were no potions in there, so that confirms that the potion that was being or the move that was being referred to by that hint is explicitly going to be Feather Bow. Nothing so feather bow is only useful or is only applicable to uh, tiny K rule. So all, it's almost a certainty that no other feather bow checks are going to be there. It's very, it's highly unlikely unless some shenanigans occur. You could get feather that leads you to mini because mini is also needed for tiny K rule. And, That's a great point. And you're going to see it a lot. They're going to use the feather bow anyway because it'll get them GBs and stuff. And GBs are of course great. we need we need sixty of those suckers. So there's a little bit, Generic has a little bit of an edge in climbing castle right now because he has not looked at his lobby five hints. We didn't get a lot of information out of it. Actually, that's where the, the castle shops to Tiny K roll hint was, and Generic's gonna read that and be like, haha, very funny, thank you, game. Importantly, that will also, assuming that Generic understands the way that negative information works, it's gonna lead to a lot of things being considered um, dead checks, which opens up, or at least streamlines the process significantly. Indeed. Right, and so the natural conclusion of it is, if Feather is locking Mini, as it would, or as it would need to in order for Feather to not be dead, then, you know, you can't put Mini Monkey on Mini Monkey locations. The Bean Stark requires Mini Monkey, hence, the Bean is dead. Unless it has a Kong, which would be insane. Oh my goodness, Generic, with the slip and slide of his life, saved a fall on Castle. He's got to be Fantastic thinking of stars. platforming right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> DK64 fought him tooth and nail for that one, anyone. We all we all have those moments. Sometimes sometimes you succeed. Sometimes you save it. And Generic has, Generic has won this, this great day. You know what I'm interested in? I'm interested in what are these Isles potions? There are three potions in Main Isle. We've only seen one of them in Oranges. We've seen a key in Main Isles. But there's not, like, that many Isles checks. Main Isles checks, rather. And a lot of them kind of suck. Like, we might be looking at, like, a roof dirt angle. Uh, barrels is, like, almost certainly going to be needed for one of them. Whether it be, be the doing, uh, logically uh, Diddy for... DK Isles Summit. That's yeah. a good check. Yeah, the Summit Rocket Barrel, yeah. Still need to break out your, uh... Your, um, your barrels. We also that. did. 
we also did start with trombone. That does kind of lead me to believe that that's going to be kind of relevant. Or it could just be inside a pineapple cage. That yeah, also we, works. We did see that one, so there's there's the second one, but there's still a third out there. And if I'm remembering correctly, I think all of the remaining ones require barrels in some capacity, so... We are in need of barrels. There's the peanut cage, which I don't believe we peaked. Uh, practically, you wouldn't need it, but logically you would, so I think barrels will end up hinted somehow. Of course. Whether it be one of these. I mean, the coconut cage is on Crem Isle, and that's hinted right there. Let's see. Spike, uh, very diligent in his castle climbing chores not leaving the roof dirt behind. Rewarded with a rainbow coin. No, mind you, they both got that rainbow coin, and they're about done at the same time, so we sync up, high five, and we're headed to level two. Actually, wow, I would have sync. And now we gotta figure out what the heck you do in Galleon without diving. What medals can we get? Because Kichu is available for sure, so we gotta, we gotta get in there somehow. We do have a couple of splats available to us immediately. Yeah, but it's a it's on a it's on a metal reward, so there you might have you might get something. Punch and grape would be enough without diving. Diving alone, I think, is enough for chunkies. Ooh, you might need something else. You might need pineapple. I think mean, pineapple alone is enough for chunkies, but I'm not sure. I might be making that up. We I do also have access to more. at least one portal. Or trough and scoff, I mean. We have a calculator for this. Why am I why am I trying to do math in my head? Let me just go check. For Lanky, we need. Diving is enough for Lanky. Because uh, you can go into his five-door ship. And then for Chunky, we need diving and pineapple. Logically, I, there might be another way around it. I bet this is diving right here. Shared potion. Show me the money, Cranky. Give it to me. For one, yeah. Love that. There we go. Right. Well, we're gonna have to keep that in mind until the end of days because that is oh, oh, ever likely to be hinted. Heck, it might be on the path to key too. Well, maybe. I don't know. Metal rewards are weird with paths. Maybe. Depends on the metal, I think. All I know is my gut says maybe. Oh, <laughs> that's all I know. Actually, if it's Chunky's metal, it would be, but... That's it. That's all we got. But now we can get Lanky's metal by going into the five-door ship and the two-door ship, so... We have plenty of Lanky Nans to get, so Generic is off to go get him. Attempt to get them. Fight the camera. Fight the camera. Win. You like want the five pack and you want to get into the box, but it's just just not quite just not quite there. Uh, Spike does it flawlessly. I'd stand corrected. Swimming in 3D games in the late 90s and early 2000s was a choice that people made in their game design documents. <laughs> Put a lot of qualifiers on that one, but you are so right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Ergo, choice. Your ship not looking too hot. Nope. You're here for the bananas for sure. Ooh, and there's the dink, so we're gonna see a boss probably. Early bosses, always good to check. They're doable and usually have some... And, well, more likely than later bosses have some good stuff. Tell you what, man, the scene is not throwing as many curveballs right now. It seems nice and straightforward. You get your key two. The, the ten hints we get off key two, are, I think, are going to be very indicative of where the seed is going. That's going to tell us how how scared we should be of the seed. No potion and candy. That's interesting. You got a better look at that than I did. Wow. Well done. I wonder if it's faster to go get on guard or just uh swim with Lanky. 
Mike's just swimming. Maybe he's like committing to like maybe buying something and didn't. So shops here, besides that shared potion, that was the only thing that they had that would be um, way of the horde. Right, so a galleon shop hint would directly tell you diving, basically. Which no is kind of at this it. point a bit of a duh. Yeah, but it's, like, it's always good to have that yeah. reassurance. Knowing what a hint is pointing to is really strong because that helps you pin down exactly what checks you're looking for, right? We know that the castle shops to Tiny Carol is explicitly feather, no other possibility, and that helps us kill a lot of feather checks. If we knew diving was specifically on the path to, let's say, key two and key four or something, and nothing else, then we could we could work with that. So it's a useful hint to have. Although I think there's not too much to not too much to speak on reading the hints yet. We're missing a bunch. We know some things are needed, but we don't have the stuff to do much of it. Like we want to get into forest. Forest has some. Forest has a, a way of the horde we could get immediately. We need coconut for another one. We need a uh, mini monkey for a third. And it is a blank boss fight. Womp womp. Or it is a uh, golden banana, not a blank. A worthy check, but unfortunate. Spike guy, I think, is going to get a blanky's medal first. Ooh, and we got something in the five-door ship. What do we got? Coconut gun? Love that. Hey, all right. Perfect, perfect. Definitely keep that in mind. You can peek Diddy's room. Diddy's room is nothing. You beat Chunky's room as well. Chunky's is a little bit harder to get to, but with that coconut, that helps a lot. Junk. And is a Lanky's Metal Key 2. That would make a lot of sense. Fair enough. Yep. Let's get going. Give me ten more hints. Let's roll level four, too. Oh, it's a yellow vial in the coconut cage that's required. Is that bongos? I hope it is. It's not. It might get ugly. Aztec for level 4. Hmm. Five Door Temple dead, always a great hint to see, because that kills seven checks immediately. Yeah, and it's kind of out of the way. It's four we do, to five. That is we, probably the Galleon Swim? Yeah, almost certainly, I think. Here we go. Here's our diving hint. Key 5, 7, and 8. Ooh, diving to key 7 is big. That's great information. That's really good, yeah. I mean, donkey five-door ship. Ooh, okay, so we're going back to the, the five-door ship for sure. We got Lanky's five-door ship, but we did not see donkeys, so we're looking for bongos now. We're also looking for donkey. We don't have a donkey hint. Oh, maybe that's in lobby three? Three, please. Show me forest? I think this has to be forest. It does. Castle Underground, Key 8, and Chunky K. Rule. Okay, surprise Chunky K. Rule jump scare. We're buying Donkey and Aztec, so that should be pretty easy to do. Might need guitar for that. Two out of three. Castle Metal Wars to Chunky K. Rule, so we're dead. <laughs> we're going back to Castle. That's going to be a big one. That is very funny. <laughs> we know the Five Door Temple is foolish, but it has a potion, so we know it's junk. <laughs> very funny game, very funny. Factory Metal for Key 8 and K. Roll Chunky. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. That could be a Gorilla Gone. That could be Gorilla Gone. It could be the Castle Underground is Gorilla Gone, too. We also got a Key 8 Chunky K. Roll hint. There. Or it could be something, you know, one leads to the other, right? Maybe like. Castle Metal Rewards is like, I don't know, grape, and you have to go get the uh, you have to go get Gorilla Gone out of the mausoleum or something silly. Of course. That would kinda suck, actually. And that seems unlikely, but you never know. You just never know. Uh, wouldn't be the first time, wouldn't be the last time. Did Generic like read the hints? I thought he like rolled through the lobby. He's kinda crazy. I believe he did. I did not notice him read the hints. Maybe he went in there first or something. I don't know. I was just watching Spike. Noting hints down is so important that it, it takes all my attention. It's so easy to mess up a hint in this game and just blow up your seed at shocking at a shocking pace. 
simply because it's always the one thing you forget. The one thing you get wrong, it kills you. Like, 10 times out of 10. Every... 10 times out of 10. 100 out of 100 every time. For sure. No doubter. Ooh, very clever tech out of generic. There's no gun to make a knight, but you can actually make a knight with oranges. It's not in logic, mind you, so all the knight stuff is out of logic right now, but that is a cheeky way to do it. And for those in the chat who are wondering, that is not considered a glitch, like orange diving is, or lag clipping or anything like that. That is just a trick that is outside of the bounds of logic. It is not a disqualifier. It is out of the bounds of common sense. A lot of people didn't know you could even do that. I didn't know you could do that <laughs> until I played a bunch of this. Nothing in that shop. One four shop is dead. The other four shop is probably dead too, but we'll get there someday. I guess right now we're the the biggest thing we could find is a chunky move. So that's why I think Generic went to the mushroom first. If he picks up a chunky move, you take it back to Castle and go get Tiny. Hopefully. Um, that's a great point right there. We need something for Tiny. In, in Castle, and we need Tiny to get Diddy in the forest, so you're not gonna find Tiny, or you're not gonna find Diddy randomly here. Um, and Generic is choosing to run towards the, the way of the horror that we know of, the, um, the Night Door Kasplat. Not the lower Kasplat outside the mushroom, it is the upper Kasplat. And it is in logic just from falling down the top of the mushroom, so really all you gotta do in logic is just climb the mushroom and then jump, jump down. This little mushroom shortcut is a very clever way to get up here. Saves you a little bit of headache. Essential in LZR, but you know, that's a that's a whole different can of worms. Man, they got this is a seat of chores. They gotta climb the mushroom. They gotta climb castle. They gotta do galleon without diving. This is just like three for three on like dumb things you have to do at the start of a seed. It's just monotonous, but it, what it, you gotta do? We're not saved. We're not bailed out by a rocket barrel. We're not bailed out by a diving until way too late. I guess they did have diving for galleon, so maybe it's not that bad. Oh, don't don't give me rocket barrel. Okay, that would have been really funny if that was rocket barrel. That would have been incredibly funny if that was rocket barrel. <laughs> this game has a sense of humor sometimes. I'll tell you. We'll take a spring, though, for I don't know what beats me. I guess we'll find out someday. Simeon Spring is, I think, the move that is the... Of the five Kong moves, I think that is the... Or, I'm sorry, four Kong moves. I think that's the least significant of them. Because I think every check can be skipped. Or can skip Simeon Spring if you do some randomizer shenanigans. Some of them tag are, anywhere, yes. Some but, of them are easier uh, than others, but it is... Oh, of course. I think it's a largely possible skip. All right, Way of the Horde Pineapple makes a lot of sense. Choosing to not shoot that chunky balloon is a bold strategy. You're actually going to get the metal climbing the mushroom anyway, so it doesn't actually matter what you do. Okay. At least, I think so. He's halfway up. Did you get another 14 from here? I think so. You get, you get, the Chunky's Metal and Forest is so free, it is the antithesis of Tiny's Metal and Forest. It is ridiculous. If you climb the mushroom, you're getting this metal. It's not difficult. You might actually be short here. Nope, there's another, there's another level of this mushroom to climb. <sighs> Do the dishes, vacuum, climb the forest mushroom without rocket barrel. Just a day in the life. Yeah, 35 here, five of the bunch at the door. We're gonna go. It's, it's nothing anyway. That This is what we get. This is our lot in life. According to the tracker that we have on our streamer's page, we have so far five banana medals from Generic Dude, which is a very healthy amount of banana medals if you're playing an NSAC seed. But unfortunately, this is not. That is actually a remarkable amount of medals. Now, mind you, jetpack is nothing, so no amount of metals are ever required. Oh, we're having a, we're having a DK64 climbing moment. Excellent. We are not worried about jetpack today. Ooh, you know, pineapple is very conveniently placed to go check the face shooting. Hold this. Generic 
opting to blast the most annoying zinger in existence. It's not a dangerous zinger, it's just the most annoying one. Not opting not to play or opting not to live dangerously, which is a very interesting thing, especially in the semifinals. A very sensible decision, I think. Look, look, I've been I've been blasted by that guy way too much to. I, I have a healthy respect for that zinger in that room. All right, and he's out of here. Bang, we got a. Does he remember that about the pineapple cage? He does now. <laughs> and especially because you're about to go get tiny, this is actually pretty nice to pick up. No guarantee that this is required. This is so far unhinted. I guess pineapple is hinted, so maybe it's useful. And it's required. That's, that's certainly useful. <laughs> we'll take that. Since we know that we have to use Tiny in order to fight K. Rule, we're that's a pretty good that's pretty good. Uh, that's, that's get pretty right good. there. We we love that. Plus, you need it for the Ant Hill, which might have Diddy. So we are a Sax and a Grape away from the Ant Hill GB way of the Horde. So that will be something to keep an eye on. If we pull Donkey, we might like. Well, Donkey would be bought in Aztec, so maybe you have to go to Aztec next to buy Donkey, and then... And then you go Coconut Cage to Bongos to Donkey's five-door ship to get... Uh... Uh... We'll say Sax, and then your Galleon Lobby Swim is... Oh, wait, that's probably Key 4, never mind. Or Key 5. Oh, yeah, actually, once you get Tiny, you go get Key 5 and Galleon Lobby for sure. That's... That is your winning play, 100%. But now it's time for Chunky Checks. Uh, we can't actually do the museum, but there is a balloon in here for Chunky's Metal. I don't remember if we peaked the forest boss fight or not. I uh, we're generic, out there. Find out not. what it is. Spike could find something big here. This is like barrels or something. It goes crazy. All right, it is just hanging on the metal, so life is good. All right, well, that works. Makes things simple. Opting not to see what it is is... Very interesting. Uh, he can't punch it open, so he can't actually see what it is. You can. Oh, actually, yeah, you, you can, can stand still on it. Stand you? on the thing and see what is behind the cage. You know what? He forgot. He forgot. I forgot. We all forgot. It's all fun. Whatever. Water yeah. bridge. Spike thinking about what he wants to do. Bang. Go get his mini monkey. Yeah, Generic's playing fast and loose, maybe playing a little aggressively, maybe thinking that he knows Spike is really, really fast, so he's like, well, maybe if I just have to go faster, play a little aggressive, skip a couple things. Go, go, go. Or maybe he came back in the castle because he's like, you know, I really should have looked at that, huh? <laughs> Check the trash. Newfound mini monkey. Maybe this is something. Maybe. This is definitely a pretty rough maybe on this one. Because we do have that. We do know that feather is only for tiny K rules. So we're kind of. This is definitely a feather check. So all those are kind of sus. Eh, it's an, e it's an either or. Because uh, you could use sax either also. I think it's a little weird. Yeah, that one that one's definitely hard to judge. I don't know. Alright, but now we got tiny, so generic is thinking let's go back to forest and see if we can pull Diddy. With Mini, what can we do? Um consulting, can we get forest tiny metal? <laughs> we have it's feather the worst mini. metal in the game. We can get we can get forest tiny metal, so that is a we can definitely get that. Uh we need we don't need that, that's for certain. Alright, well, Spike will look to the museum as junk anyway, so... Generic gets away with one there. Uh, I think that's the only tiny check you can do. You need punch for the spider boss, and you would need... Um... Grape to get into the ant hill. You could get forced tiny metal, and he is skipping it, so if Diddy is there, then... You know what? Force Tiny Metal will claim another one. I wonder if Spike's thinking that. Uh, for, for no particular reason, uh, Force Tiny Metal 
Force Tiny Metal incidents have been cropping up at, alar at alarming rates recently, so would not be surprised if anyone was uh, a little wary of that one. So that tiny potion on DK Isles from Cranky was peanut pop guns. Love that. Uh, not sure what we love it for, but we love it. Definitely love to see it at the very least. Indeed. I want to see Janera go back to Galleon Lobby, because you can go to the, uh... You can go to the Galleon Lobby swim right now, which I'm pretty sure is Key 5, which is 10 more hints, which is a lot of information right now. I think Generic is going to push the banana metal. <laughs> I think the, uh, the, the forced tiny metal incidents of late have been, uh, traumatic. Those of you who are here Wednesday, you know. Shout out to, uh, good hit detection. Yep, that's a DK64 and gun switches. Match made in heaven. So now let's see if our negative logic is playing out the way that we think it is. Generic didn't even check that. I think he knows it's dead. Because that's like crazy I, not to check. I'm also in agreement. There's a pearl. Um, well, okay, it's not that crazy not to check. Because... Um... It's also super easy to accidentally skip through that text. <laughs> is, that is entirely possible. Just whiffed on it. Oh no way! What is that? Oh, did we just? What is that? That's that a can't blue... be. I mean, it's a blue potion, I think. That looked blue to me. There's a potion up there. Is that like a rang stand? I don't know if that would. That is fascinating. We it... could be a monkey's uncle. That's this dead, is... right? That's definitely that... dead. I have to believe it is, though. That's a spicy I mean, one, but it's... We'll find out later. Surely. Surely! <sighs> we'll see. The creator of logic Whoa. does not even understand its own child. And uh, Tiny Metal on Castle has Primate Punch. That's a winner. Oh, yeah. Castle Metals are hinted. That is Punch on the path to Chunky K roll. Great pick up, great presence of mind from Spike to go get that medal when he could. Uh, it's the, only the third medal you can get in Aztec or in, in Castle, so pulling that is pretty nice. And similarly, now Ch Punch being only on the path of Chunky K rule that kills a lot. Now you need a bunch of stuff for Chunky K rule, but <laughs> not needing it for like Key Seven is pretty nice to know. Punch is a pretty good move. Uh, yes, Force Tiny Metal claims another one. <laughs> Generic is not letting this one slip by. It's it's the the gravitas of Force Tiny Metal has made itself known. It is imposing its will on the community at large. It can't keep getting away with this. There's no way. We only have two phases of K rule right now. Tiny K rule and chunky K rule. Tiny K rule solved itself pretty fast, so not surprising it didn't get a ton of hints. And given that we've ran, we found peanuts in a shop, it could be a DK rule, and we have to like a surprise. We have a rocket barrel jump scare late. Um, donkey K rule is also reasonable. Or it's, we need barrels and we get a donkey uh, K rule jump scare, but barrels isn't hard to find usually. But here's our castle or galleon lobby swim. Is this key five? That's what I want to see. Tiny metal had nothing. Bang, it is indeed key five here. He is looking at a boss, or Generic is looking at a boss that Spark already looked at, so nothing here. Generic's gotta consult his hints. We got Spike here remembering that he has a potion available. Oh, yes. Which we know is peanut pop guns. This aisle shop is disgustingly easy to forget. It is staggering. Truly staggering how easy it is to forget this trick. It is so out of the way that you only really come back here for two, maybe three times per seed, and it's so easy to forget. It's very easy to see early, and then very easy to forget late. <laughs> it's the, the time between seeing it and needing it, in this case, was 30 minutes, and for the Diddy Potion, it's even longer. That is so much time to forget. When you have, say, a traumatic incident in Castle, you know, doing a little slip and slide on the, the walls, or maybe you, like, 
prioritize remembering a key or something. Like, the knowledge of seeing a key pushed some other knowledge out of your mind. You only have so much space in your head. Alright, weird moment where they high-five at this feather cage. How does this game do this? It's always funny seeing our the runners sync up now and again. Speaking of fear personified, they're checking BFI. We have no reason to believe this is needed. But we have no reason to believe it's not. Exactly. <laughs> sometimes and it's not. Sometimes you just need the peace of mind that it's just a GB on BFI. All right, we're good. They're Crisis averted. I think we've all had a seed that died because we didn't check BFI, and then we spent the next month checking BFI the first second that we could. Yeah, sometimes you just lose an hour to it. Ooh, we got a spring potion. Go on. That is one of the spring checks. I think it's one of the few spring checks that you can't really avoid without doing some really obscene shenanigans. You just need barrels and you can get away with it. And then pray you don't have any like restrictive minigame requirements like a gun or something. 53 to get into factory and we have something hinted in factory. Two things hinted in factory. Brutal. Oh, that's not what we want to see. TNS to oh. keep Shunky K rule. Oh no. We're checking bosses. Treasure chest is dead. That is wow, right, very I anti down. Very anti hype hints. Thank you, game. Main aisle key chunky K rule. That is our third main aisle item. That is not the mini monkey. That is Prime Punch though. Mm, chunky K rule. Alright. Wow, lots That's of new chunky K rule stuff. This is our coconut lock thing, probably. And then the Japes of Metal Rewards give us one potion. Uh, I disagree. I think that's actually going to be the spring barrel because it's path to Chunky, and we know uh, Donkey's uh, coconut cage is Donkey uh, potion. Could be, but path to key eight and Chunky K rule. If it's Bongos, that would solve your key eight, and then it could like lead you to Hunky Chunky or something. Are we getting like a Hunky Chunky and Helm? That would go crazy. That would be special to say the least. That would be very spicy. Ooh, a pr foolish production? Wait, hang on, that's crazy. I miss I missed that one. Low lands to key eight. Alright, Isles Cranky some Isles Cranky Lanky, that was That was Isles Cranky Tiny was way of the horde. So now we know Okay. Mushroom Carol inside. Oh okay, I think that's this lends credence to your theory. That's spring. We also know that the tiny potion is way of the horde in DK Isles, so that means that we're gonna be seeing Peanut Pop Guns be way of the horde somehow. Oh, and there it is. The the Jape's Jape City Peanut Tunnels. Jape's City Peanut Tunnel, perfect. I wonder how it works out. Alright, well, well done. You have cracked the code. So, Peanut is Woth. We now know why we need that. Uh, oh gosh, a lot of stuff all at once. Holy smokes. And, uh, Generic got his key five in the meantime, so he's gonna get the full dump of information. We got almost all our hints. We're missing the feather hint and the rocket barrel hint. And Spike is getting the feather hint now. We did see it before when uh, Generic went in, but it completely blanked. I think that was the prod hint. Oh, is this the foolish prod hint? Oh, well, there we go. Okay, there it is. That was the hint that I missed. So we are missing one way of the horde hint that is Rocket Barrel Lock. By my math. Yeah, yeah, I've got my money on that spring barrel potion being super important. That makes a lot of sense. Possibly being hunky chunky. That would make a lot. Of, well, mm, it has to be something for key eight as well. So that could be like gorilla gone. There is also that two percent mini game that requires hunky chunky, I believe. Maybe. That, that is a contender. Or something that like gets you a helm instrument or something. It's it's a little hard to say right now. Like, Hunky could get you a helmet instrument, or I don't know. Who knows what. What I'm interested in is the third main aisle thing. It's on the path to Chunky, with Chunky Key Rule and Key 8, but I think it has to be barrels locked at this point, right? I don't think there's any peanut other key. check that Neither of our locked. runners have looked at Peanut Cage. Hmm. That one isn't Peanut... That one isn't barrels locked? Or, it's not practically barrels locked, but logically it is barrels locked. It wants you to get the rocket barrel, barrel to rocket over there. Wait, are you serious? Yes. I did not know that. That's, imp that's incredible. Yeah. This game has some of... It's it very interestingly written. 
He goes to great lengths to not make, like, really, really dumb jumps in logic. With a couple, maybe, corner cases that are just for the best. Notable exceptions. Not too many. It's, it, it, the logic is largely based around, you know, what developers intended, right? They put a rocket barrel there that, oh yeah, you're probably supposed to rocket barrel over there. For those of you keeping track at home, there was a hint that something on Giant Mushroom Interior is important, and we do have four of our guns, so could we be seeing Check of Legends coming up? Oh my. And we know we need Grape to get to the Ant Hill area, because the Ant Hill is hinted. Oh wow. Generic has reached 20 GBs, so he is off to... Aztec. He is trying to buy Donkey Kong here and progress his seed. Spike, meanwhile, is trying to scour the entirety of the mushroom interior to, like, really narrow down what potion is that actually referring to. Spring makes a lot of sense, but Spike has not checked the spring barrel in Creme Isle while Generic has, so... Critical bit of information there. Um, besides that, though, we're kind of just in a GB rush now. We need to get the factory to get Key 7 for sure, because Key 7 is probably in storage. Somehow. So, Celerity brings up an interesting point in chat, and as the writer of Logic, I would love to hear your reply to it. Celerity believes that Hunky cannot be in Helm because there would be an issue with bosses. Like, Correct. you would not be able to defeat it. Correct. For the Season 2 preset, is that... Is that a concern? Just because I know you can leave, uh, you can do Helm and then leave and then do the rest of the seed without it not, without, with it still being considered 101 percentable. It would be correct. So the way the boss build works is it's trying to, wow, homing in the shops, very funny. No donkey though. That's very sad. We need guitar now. Um, yeah, the way the, yeah, that is tragic. The way the boss fill works is it, make, it makes sure that all bosses are beatable with stuff in or before that level. And you have to put Doggon on 2 somewhere, so Hunky Chunky has to be in or before level 7. At an absolute minimum. So it's never in Helm, and I always forget that. And I always forget that until someone corrects me, and you know what? Celerity? Gold Star. You get, you get today's Gold Star for reminding me of that fact, because somebody's got to do it. And for those of you who uh, gambled some points and believed and uh, believed that we'd be getting all five Kongs before 45 minutes, you are officially wrong. Out of luck, unfortunately. No dice. Ready. Too bad, exclamation mark. So sad. Now, mind you... So one thing you can do with the Aztec boss door, which is unique, is because of that boss fill, it's expecting you to be able to beat the boss in with moves in or before that level. You can kind of read into that boss door number on where Guitar is. If the number is really, really low, you can kind of infer that Guitar is available after Aztec. But the number we saw was like 117. That is annoyingly mid. I think you can get 117 with, with what we got. And... So that means you can't really read into where Guitar is, so... Unfortunate. Without... What is Spike doing? Oh my god, Spike has seen a yellow vial in Dark Rafters, and he is trying to use his gun explosions to get there. This is insane, by the way. This is, like, real hard. <laughs> oh, it wasn't yellow, it was a slam! Oh, that's he big! Blind. Holy smokes. That's huge! We need a slam for Chunky K rule. That's a great pull. <laughs> I thought that was yellow. And that does have spring, technically speaking, holding it. Now, we don't have his audio, but what I'm guessing happened is he got to, like, that point, like, looking directly at it, and then took Tiny and just twirled directly at it and hope he hit it. And he hit it, so... What a beast. You take your time to get to that point, and then... Twirl carries you the rest of the way. That was incredibly impressive. So right now we have a vulture has a blank po or a white potion. Come on, Let's see what that is. It's Instrument jump. upgrade one. So while that was technically a bait potion, that does it's part of going to check this. <laughs> Spike got jump scared by a kiss splat on his pause menu. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm 
sometimes you take a couple crowns to think, and sometimes the dice man takes you for a dip. Unfortunate. It's probably still worth sticking around for, like a 20 second crown is pretty good. I'd argue two or three uh, shots at it are where you want to be. Well, okay, at that point then, it's... It... At that point it becomes pride. Losing doesn't make it a worse play, it just makes you bad. <laughs> like, exactly. it, it, doesn't matter, it, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, a six second crown is always worth doing, no matter what. Yeah, of course. Well, I think that continues up into the 20s, probably. I don't know, I'm not doing that. It's really good. Uh, Generic is pushing pretty hard in Aztec. I want to say you can get 117. You can get a lot of Chunkies. With Pineapple, you go into the vase room. You don't have Grab, but you could have Grab because it's level 4. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he... I was hoping for a ding there. Yeah, he's bailing. Maybe he's had enough. I'm kind of afraid that it's like guitar on the boss. That would be evil. <laughs> that would be really evil. But back to Yain for the both of them. Uh, I don't think it can be guitar on the boss. Oh, it could. Aztec. Oh, it, it sure could. Oh, I, wow. That would be so. That would be. You would. I think you'd need to get exactly 117. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 117 is, like, annoyingly tight. Like, that doesn't look like a lowered number. But it's really tight if it isn't. <laughs> it's a really inconvenient number. Like, that makes it really hard to read on where guitar is. And Spike doesn't even have that information. He's just, like, scooping stuff up as he goes. He has not made it to Aztec yet. So speaking of jumps the logic doesn't expect you to do, uh, you know, climbing through the... Climbing up the posts in the cannon game room is not required. That requires the water raising, which requires... Lighthouse access, which requires Donkey, who we don't have. So very out of logic, but it's fast, so we do it anyway. All about the speed here. That is exactly worth the amount of effort in order to get access to... this, uh, check earlier. Now, that being said, we do have out of logic access to Treasure Room, which, while it has nothing inside it, it does have some colored bananas for the various columns. I would love to check the Treasure Room, except it's foolish, so... Exactly. I don't, I don't love it. It's fine. I mean, if you need GBs, and Spike certainly needs GBs right now, it's a great spot to go, especially when it's foolish. Pick up as many as you can here. Two already. Pretty nice. Just the best density in the game. Three, four, effective with the blueprint. That's nice. Where the heck did that guy come from? So we're seeing a little bit of a, uh, a punch diff right now in that Generic does not have punch at Castle, and Spike does. So Spike got to do a punch testing down, which is kind of nice. Pretty fast. He got to check the arena. A little unfortunate. Generic might need to reconsider his hints and think about his Castle Metals hint. That's a uh, one he could do right now. Possibly also a Castle Underground angle, although I'm not sure what you do in Castle Underground. You could do a lanky dungeon, actually, with Twirl. You could actually do it. It would be great, but you could do it. Hey, Riley, Riley showed me up once and again and smart me in the chat. Come on, you, Riley, watch out. Alright, but Spike gets to see Aztec information now. Excellent. So we know Donkey is bought in Aztec, so Donkey is guitar locked, and we know Diddy is found by Tiny in Forest, and we can't really do anything more with Tiny right now. Actually, you could do the Spider Boss with- Spike could do the Spider Boss if he wanted. Although it would suck. Uh... We're probably, though, we're probably looking for Grape and Sacks to get into the Ant Hill, which is hinted. So... Pretty good odds that's Diddy. Not a guarantee, but pretty good odds. None of the rest of the hints really line up for it to be like key seven or something. So I think that makes the most sense to be exactly Diddy. Oh, but I'm thinking Grape on Spider! Well. Brilliant! <laughs> I'm thinking Grape on Spider is actually unironically what we should be doing right now. 
I think Grape is just unhinted and they're just gonna have to randomly find it. That's what I'm afraid of. I think that world exists. Or, like, some some weird requirement is unhinted. Like, maybe Guitar is unhinted and somehow isn't on the path to anything that would go insane. Ah, uh, what might it be? Uh, hmm. I kind of want to dig through the first three levels and try and find barrel throwing. That's what I really want to see, because barrel throwing would get you a bunch of stuff in aisles. You could use... Well, you could use the barrels to skip spring, or skip meeting Diddy. Maybe, maybe Tiny's backflip is enough. Um, it could be, you could use the barrel throwing, the barrel boulder tech to get on top of Aztec Lobby. Maybe that's what the, the main aisle thing is for. Roof dirt or summit barrel make a lot of sense. Like, maybe you find, like, rocket barrel in the Kremile spring barrel, and then it turns up a, I don't know, helm instrument, like a saxophone on the summit barrel, and then you take your saxophone to... Um, okay, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. We're It's it's in the oven, team. I'm thinking. While Larak is thinking, just to remind everybody that you are watching the semifinals of the Season 2 Blitz tournament for DK64 Randomizer. Well, this is S2.5, but if any of this interests you, what you're watching right now, or you have any questions, please check us out on DK64Randomizer.com. So Spike has smelled out the spider boss potential. He's doing this at the same time because he can also get Tiny's Metal. I don't think he has Tiny's Metal yet. He's kind of like doing a little two-for-one here. Shout out to the worst balloon in the game that Generic just got over on above the two-door ship. That balloon is horrendous at rendering. But Spike wants to see the spider boss, and I do as well. It makes a lot of sense for Diddy. It makes a lot of sense for something. Well... Hmm... Punch, no, notably, Punch is only on the path to Chunky K rule, so if it is something, it's gonna be Diddy, and probably not anything else. Maybe it's Grape, actually. That would, oh god, that'd be so evil. Oh boy. We know we need Sacks for Helm, so I don't think we're gonna find Sacks here. You can't find Sacks here. Oh, Spike does have Tiny's Metal now, cool. Pretty good. Does Spider have anything? Back to Castle for Generic, maybe he'll find his Punch on this Metal. Maybe he consulted his hints and was like, wait a minute, hang on. Hang on, that's Kong. A, dude, that's, that's, a, that's a Kong? I think it's it was yellow text, which I believe is Kong. It was a short word. I think it's Kong. Everyone thinks it's Kong. We got Diddy on the spider boss. Alright, value. That's what I call value. This is the highest value stream that I have ever seen in my entire life. If you enjoy DK64 randomizer nonsense, we got that good stuff on display right here. That's the good stuff, that's for sure. All right, well, what do you do with Diddy? You got tons of options now. Um, Crime Isle Barrel makes a lot of sense. Uh, I still love Peanut Cage right now. I also would love the Peanut Cage. That is a great potential for... We also have some Isle like Shops, it. which is very much the correct choice. That, yep, Spike definitely made it correct. Do not forget this shop. It <laughs> You saw this within the first five minutes of the seed, and 50 minutes later, you have to remember it exists. <laughs> Not easy. What do we got? Well, balloon, balloon. balloon. That does not look to be useful. Although, yeah, I may be speaking too soon on that one. You can do lanky dungeon in logic now. So another Castle Underground check just opened up logically. You could have done it on Twirl, but Balloon makes it in logic. Hmm. Spike is headed to Castle instead of going... Oh, has he looked at the Creme Isle Barrel? I don't, I don't know if he has yet. He might not have yet. Yeah, I think he might be waiting to go... He might be waiting to have barrels in order to do the check at the same time. Mm. To do the uh, arena check at the same time. Either way, we're kind of... Wow. 
this is panning out fascinating. I see what both of our runners are doing right now, just the way that they're playing. And it really is just a matter of... Hesitate to say getting lucky, because there's definitely a certain amount of skill involved in uh, being able to hunt everything down. But right now, having punch this far in advance is just opened up the entire game for Spike. And even doing the same checks that Generic Dude has been doing, having punch in the background is just been absolute gas. It's good, but Generic is well ahead on GBs, actually. Looking at the, crunching the numbers here, we got, I think it's effective 33 for Generic, and Spike is only at 28. So Generic has a pretty healthy GB lead. And if he can continue to follow the path, and he's taking his punch right back to Forest, he may, can, he may be able to convert it still. He's seen that it has to be... I think he realized what was going on. It's too in risky. Terms of, it's too ris in risky to do this. In terms of going back to Castle, I strongly believe that he realized that he had a Castle Medal Rewards was important, and he remembered that he had unresolved medals checks over there. So that makes sense why you would want to run back and go do that. And then after that, immediately come over here because that's a free tiny check. Oh no, we got Diddy Dungeon, or we got Lanky Dungeon did have a potion, but we have the worst mini game in the game. <laughs> this is so bad. It's definitely not good. All right, would you rather see this or Kaizo Beavers? In Beaver Bother? Yeah. No. I'd, I'd take Beavers over this, man. This one's bad. I did, this is so I bad. disagree. One rewards patience, the other doesn't. I'm not a patient man. Let me be clear. I cannot state that emphatically enough. I, it can't be done. Impossible. I will bomb out of this at like 60 seconds in, like, constantly. I also think there's definitely a certain amount of rage-inducing going on there. So, for my playstyle, when I, when I tilt, I tend to tilt off the face of the earth. And Beaver Bother will absolutely cause me to tilt into next year. So, if that's the case, this will just get me frustrated, but not angry. There's no winning with his blasted snoop. But Spike yeah. makes it through, and is he rewarded with anything? This sprint is unhinted, or this balloon is unhinted, trombone is unhinted. Is this anything? Well, okay, I... I, I, huh. I accidentally spoke spring into existence, or sprint into existence. Is this our underground hint? This is the first thing we found in the Castle Underground. It is possible that this is our magic item that we need. That's interesting. That really is. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, what do you do with Sprint here? Something in caves, maybe? A little beetle race action? Yeah, Janera just skipped the spider text. He knows it's just time to go. Maybe Diddy's Metal also has something. Yeah, that would be a little too generous. Seed is a little stingier than that. Well, we do also know that we need Grape in order to get access to the Owl Tree area. Right. And we started with Sacks, and we do have an underground hint for a rank stand sprint. So could we also be seeing uh, the Rabbit Race? Rabbit Race is a pretty good shout. Maybe that's got barrels. <laughs> Let's just go crazy while we're at it. Let's let's just go crazy. Why not? Why not? Let's yeah, because we've unlocked nothing from any of the other zones. Or from 4 through 7. Well, these spiders are not treating generic nice, but... Alright, he's... Oh, he got splatted. It inverts your controls. And he got inverted controls. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. I there missed those so much. You probably got really confused by that one. <laughs> That's a good one. For those of you who are oh, newer to the experience... Okay, first let's peek this. Junk. Dang. F minus. Ugh. So frustrating. Spike might do something crazy. He might kick his way up to the summit barrel. Ah. Uh, he loves doing this. Good luck, my friend. It's tough. It's real tough, but he can do it. He, he does a lot. Ooh, almost. With Toro, it's helpful. Oh, we see a potion here. That's big. I will. Hmm. You can't. I don't think you can get it, but looking at it is good enough information. 
knowledge is power in dk64randomizer.com and knowing that there is a potion that is your that is your potion that is the hinted thing on main isle and knowing that's good is half the battle indeed it, it truly is in this game because the knowledge of oh i need rocket barrel rocket barrel is going to end up on my hint somewhere as well as barrels that can that can help you parse your hints pretty well So, uh, to get back to my what I was saying before, we it used to be that the spider enemies that were outside of Spider Boss would fire projectiles that would either freeze you in place or reverse your controls, but that crashed the game repeatedly, <laughs> Just a and bit. it had to go away. Very unfortunate. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll have spiders ruining your day. Alright, Generic is running straight to the spring barrel he saw. I think this is... This, I think you're right. I think this is our, our magic item. This is, probably is our progression, I wager. What is this? Is this... Can this be barrels? I think it can. We didn't get anything last time. I think it's hunky. I still think it's hunky, but hunky? I would love to be wrong. You are crazy, my friend. That is a bold prediction, I think. I think it's too early in the path to be something for Chunky K. Rule. I think we got like a nice lengthy path to like a real gone or something, and then Hunky Chunky is just like randomly found somewhere. Because we still have the summit barrel hinted to Chunky K. Chunky K. Roll and K. Eight, so this could be like rocket barrel, um, or just barrels. This could just be barrels. And then factory metals to Chunky K. Roll and K. Eight, that could be rocket barrel. So I think barrels is my money here. And then the summit barrel is like Gorilla Gone. Nice. Alright, well, there's barrel throwing. I love being right. Interesting to not check the arena while you're there. I mean, it could also just be that generic is laser focused on something that. And he remembered. <laughs> he remembered. <laughs> and. It, we laugh, but this is, like, absolutely correct. It's so much better to just run back to it instantly, just eat the 20 seconds of just, like, I'm an idiot, and just... Right, and what, the crow for what, being on what, a stream while doing it. Let's not mess up. Let's not mess this no. up. <laughs> it, while it's only a golden banana right now, you know for a fact that if you orphaned it, it was going to be the most important item in the game. Right, Spike right now is just kind of giving the runaround. He's got Diddy, and he's not running through force with Diddy, trying to do... I don't know what... Did you find guitar? Who knows? Guitar might be barrels locked, and that would that would suck a lot. We have no idea where guitar is either. Do we have, do we have a guess on Man, guitar? Man, it was so just fortunate for a generic dude to peek that that was a potion up there. Oh, you know what? I would not be surprised if the Aztec boss has something now. Because you can definitely get it now. Now that you have Diddy with Diving and Peanut, you can definitely... You can get Diddy's Metal, I think, in Aztec. And if you can get Diddy's Metal and Chunky's Metal, I think you have enough to get to 117 pretty easily. And, and he, with um, oh boy, Barrels, you can also complete Chunky's uh, Vaz Room. And Barrels could be hinted for the, the a Barrels boss in Aztec. I, oh boy. Uh, we're cooking with gas now. I think... I want to see the Aztec boss. But Generic chooses caves instead. Level 5 caves. What do we have hinted here? Nothing. Great. That means there's certainly something here. Because it's just, it's just the way of the world. Yeah, caves was an absolute void in terms of hints. Which means there's always something in there. That son of a gun. At least <laughs> one thing. There's always something. <laughs> That's not based on any logic or intuition, that's just pure instinct. Or, you call it instinct, I call it being bitter at uh, blowing a seed. Or scars. On... Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a little of that too, huh? Mm-hmm. Never, never lucky. It could even be the cave's boss. That would be... Psychotic. We have four Kongs. Please. Level five is level five is fair game. It could be the caves boss. <laughs> oh, that would be so mean. Since we have a little time right now, could you talk about the 
con progression in season 2.5 settings or otherwise uh, simple level order like there has to be you have to get x number of kongs before you enter y level could you elaborate on that right so pretty straightforward setup uh you get you will find your second kong by level two your third kong by level three your fourth kong by level four and your fifth kong by level five that means for our purposes here we have four kongs which means level five is fair game level six and seven are off limits nothing that will help you get donkey kong can be found in level or you will not find anything in level six or seven that you need to get donkey kong And that's I a swear, I've, 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 I've learned like lawyer speak, having to be extremely specific about how I describe the logic. <laughs> it's like a number of times yeah, you and I have had conversations where it's just like does does doesn't mean does not or doesn't in the context of does, but in this case it doesn't. Nothing in level six or seven is required to get donkey. Let's say you need a slam to get donkey for whatever reason. One slam is accessible, but the other might be in six or seven. Nothing you need to get donkey will be in the next level like let's say we need grape to get donkey it will not be in six or seven just straight up will not if you need hello it. underground check here we go underground has hinted spike kind of came back to this he, he was not impressed by his sprint pull and was like can we do better we can do better with castle underground surely we can mulligan that right yeah, we, can, we can do better this this is already pretty promising punch is hinted but oh uh, wait a minute Punch is hinted only to Chunky K rule, so this is probably not our item. Because Ch Castle Underground is hinted to Key 8 and Chunky K rule. I think Spike is about to acquire some junk. I... Hmm. I mean, Hunky is still looming somewhere. Right, it could be Hunky on a, like, Donkey's Metal and Castle. That would be extremely mean. But it could be. Could be an unhinted punch and a hinted hunky on Castle Metals. That would, that would be kind of savage. If this turns out to be something, blast. Woof. Yeah. Woof. Absolute woof. If it is punch that is hinted on the Castle Metals, it is not blast we're talking about. So I think we just kind of we just kind of live in that world, right? Okay, Spike has finally arrived at Crime Isle and is like, oh no, I could have seen this way earlier. He's got to be feeling a little bit behind from that. However, his slam that he found is doing a lot of heavy lifting. I don't know what he's... I don't know what to make of that. Oh, no. Did Janair just find a slam in caves? The ammo belt. Funky. Funky. You're killing me, Funky. You can do better than that. Come on, man. Oof. You got barrels, you got four Kongs. I'm telling you, man, Aztec boss is looking mm, spicy. Now, mind you, this is made with the benefit of, of being able to watch both of them at once and seeing the, gen the, gener or the generic is just pulling absolutely nothing out of the cave so far. What are you talking about? He had the opportunity to have more ammo and never run out. I love ammo. I love ammo. Oh, don't say never run out. That That is not a guarantee you will not run out. <laughs> Let me tell you what. <laughs> No, please, tell us more. What happened? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having any of your sass. It barrels for Spike, so he's back on, back on the trail. That now also solves our Lanky K rule, and we know we need we know we know need Rocket Barrel for the Summit Barrel. Doink almost, is almost interesting. Almost. Doink is very interesting Ooh. right here in caves. Ooh, you gotta check the boss. There's no way you can check the boss. That wasn't a There's no universe you don't, right? There's, that wasn't too high a, a dink either. No, I think that was under 50. Yeah, not under 50, but under maybe like around 100 or so. You gotta check it. There's no way you don't. What's Spike thinking? He's doing a little dance. The think dance? Run around warp 4? Right, warp 3 it is. He is going to caves. Makes a lot of sense. He's no, he it. has access to the top of... Does he realize that he has access to the barrel on... Oh, no, he doesn't have rocket barrel. Never mind. Right. That is the hard part. Ugh. And all things even... All, all, or every, everything otherwise even, the, the slam out of... Dark rafters out of logic, which, by the way, is crazy. It cannot be overstated how crazy that is. 
nutsy cuckoo plays right there. It's pan. It's gonna. It might pay off big for for Spike if we don't see the other slam. There is another one out in the wild, and it could just randomly turn up. More importantly, I think, than kind of covering our rear end when it comes to the chunky K rule phase, that also allows for the checks in five and six that are hidden behind slams to be available to us. The one I'm looking at right now is Japes having slams that are available to us because that's like, what, four, five, six, seven, a series, a very high number of checks have opened to us with the number of Kongs that we have here. Japes is considerably better with a slam, but it's also considerably better. But to, to utilize that slam, you need Donkey and Coconut. So we got a we got a bigger question on our hands. Here we go, 100 CBs for the TNS in Caves, and he is running straight in. Is it Caves, boss? No other reason to go into this level. Absolutely nothing here is hinted. The only thing is the boss. This would be extraordinarily toxic. Mind you, the igloo is foolish, so generic doesn't even have to like look at this area otherwise. What do we got? Dramatic music. that song what's that sound from that sounds so familiar it's like a pokemon that's one. from pokemon a stadium stadium oh, for the n64 okay well it's not this one i love that game that game is good yeah no wonder i recognize it wow that that switch for spike did something weird but that's just dk64 for you sometimes the sometimes it doesn't do it for you going over our hints Ooh, spike getting to leverage his slam he's gonna check the beetle race too if we think that sprint is our answer getting to see the beetle race is really nice Thinking. Oh, he has suddenly realized that I have not looked at any forest hints. Uh, I wonder which five those were. <laughs> uh. Maybe, maybe I want those. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> ah, classic. Beetle is dead. It's not the beetle. Rabbit race is appealing, I suppose. As appealing as the rabbit race ever is. Oh, that's the Castle Metal Rewards hint, so that's why he wasn't so sold on going back to castles, because he just didn't have this hint. Oh dear. That's why it took him so long to get back there. And then Donkey can be bought an Aztec. Yeah, now he's getting the bad word that, oh, I need to run the fine guitar. And now Castle Underground hint, that might send him to the underground, and he might find. He might find Sprint and uh, Blast down there. If you were in our runner's shoes right now, what would you be doing? Aztec boss. But besides that, uh, <laughs> I think I think the Aztec boss makes a ton of sense. We've seen every other boss, and if you're looking for progression, T8 and Chunky K rule from the Trophenskoff makes a lot of sense to check every boss you can because you have a long chain of E8 Trophenskoffs that includes the Summit Barrel. Right? You know it's kind of a chain of events that's going to get you Rocket Barrel, which might get you Gorilla Gun or something, but you have to like work your way there. We started working our way there through Barrels, which then leads you into a boss, which could lead you to Rocket Barrel, which could lead you to your, your magic item, probably Gorilla Gun. Now, th that doesn't help you with guitar any. I think guitar, you're just going to have to, you know, choose your favorite deity to pray to and hope it turns up. Oh, did, did Jenner not buy this Diddy Potion? That's a little awkward. I don't think he did. Which one? Is this... This is Balloon, isn't it? I believe so. That that could easily send him back to Castle, so... That alone. You know what? I'm not sold on Castle Underground. What can we do in Castle Underground? Uh... With what we have available? Nothing else. Never mind. I'm kind of sold on Castle Underground. <laughs> Oop. Uh, shoot. This is a tricky one. I want to see Aztec Boss! I'm telling you, I think that's just the answer. <laughs> Unless Spike just, like, happens to randomly find it on... Yeah, I... I, I... I tried. I kind of tried to will an item into existence there, but I didn't try very hard, so... That would have been a very out-of-logic item right there. A little bit rough. A little bit rocky there. I think you can get... Right back to the calculator. Caves Lanky. Uh, yes, it's in logic. It is in logic with Balloon and the Slam. 
though. Good enough. To get up there? Not to those specifically, but to oh, get to 40 yeah, any, somehow. Yeah! Because Blad, yeah, because Blad would be just its own mess. Alright, a little bit of retreading here. I'm kind of curious to see who ends up back on the Aztec boss first. That's not an obvious location, especially because I think they've both run through Aztec. And you might look at 100 and be like, oh, I need guitar for sure. But with three guns, Diddy and Chunky's included, that's a lot of CBs. I think that's two medals worth. Let me check the I can calculator. Diving plus Slam plus Peanut is enough for Diddy's medal. So you have at least 80, because you definitely have Chunky's medal with Peanut. And then Tiny, there's like two balloons in Tiny's room. And then there's a Diddy balloon out, or no, I can't the Diddy balloon already. And then maybe like a five pack or something, a tiny somewhere randomly. Maybe. Maybe I'm not making this up. I think there's enough. Oh, and Lanky's, of course. There's 19. Really? 19? Barrel only knows. Oh, yeah, I guess Lanky does some like weird stuff like the Llama Temple or something. Somewhere in the ballpark of like 15. Right, because the. the the vulture room, right? It's like a room of who knows what. Oh. Ah, generic is discovering the joys of the Snoop Stash Snatch Stash Stash Snatch combo. Ah. I hate it so much I'm gonna go on utter its name. And he's gonna be rewarded with Sprint! Wow! <laughs> How exciting! Oh, I love the sprint cabin check from Spike. I don't think uh, I don't think Generic did this. That Snoop stash combo. You gotta you gotta like pick that that cop's pocket. You gotta like fall him into the coin and then take it when he's like right there, right next to it. Oh, and you don't have donkey, so you kind of have to do this. You have to do this naturally. This is. Oh yeah. Oh, Jenner getting caught at the worst time. Yep. Brutal. This is this is why this one sucks. It sucks a lot. Oh! No way, is this guitar? Go on. Hang on. Oh, he got he got <laughs> home run. <laughs> it's rocket barrel! Out of nowhere! Go to Isles! Please, I beg of you, quit immediately and go back to Isles. He has... Spike has converted his knowledge of Sprint into the Sprint Cabin. Wow. That is a great read. I would have... I don't think I would have come to that I mean, interaction. Generica didn't do it because he didn't have Sprint. I think it's as simple as that. Wow. Castle Underground is on the path to Key 8 and Chunky K rule, which puts Sprint on this path to all these shenanigans. This just makes a ton of sense, actually. Sprint is your next step in the chain. Sprint to Rocket Barrel, and then... Rocket Barrel to... Summit Barrel. And then you probably find Gorilla Gun here. And life is good. Great. Your Sprint Hint is solved. Yeah, your Sprint Hint is solved alone from Rocket Barrel, because... Rocket Barrel's on the path to... Uh, Diddy K rule, so good enough there. Or not Diddy K rule, uh, Diddy, uh, Diddy Helm. Oh boy, bit of a doozy on this one. Just one really, really long path to something for Chunky K rule. It could be, could be Gorilla Gone. I think most likely it's Gorilla Gone. It kind of raises the question of where Hunky is, but we have a bunch of like randomly hinted things, like uh, maybe Donkey's five door ship has Hunky. That's a very real possibility. Once we pick up Donkey, we go get the Crema Isle cage, the coconut cage that's hinted. That's probably Bongos, and then you take Bongos to the five door ship. And <laughs> Generic just pulled Sprint and is like. 
Oh, that's that's not good. Hmm. That's hmm. 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 Or does he take it back to caves? All right. I mean, he's got one option with it in caves. He doesn't have the slam to check the beetle race. He's got to take it to the sprint cabin. Or not. Where's he going? Please. What are you thinking? He's going back to two because he realized. No. Oh, he's doing a little dance. I mean, you, trombone. He's going back to two because he didn't play the trombone in order to get the uh, jet pack or the rock barrel. Or he's going to Japes. How expensive is Japes? Japes is 48 GBs. He's not getting in here. Oh, is he doing the. Uh, oh, he might just be doing the Japes check. Yeah. Right. He doesn't have. Sorry about that. I confused my my uh the people i was watching on screen he doesn't have rocket barrel quite yet so he can't actually i mean he could play the pad because he has to at some point but he does not have the barrel needed to do that right he's got to take his uh he's got to take his barrels back to uh or take his sprint back to caves tricky pole but nothing else for sprint is in logic right now so like if you're trying to follow your sprint lead that's the only way to go the only way to go there isn't even any other option Spike, meanwhile, is, is sticking around in caves for some reason. I'm not sure what he's after. Um, maybe he's just after GBs. That kind of makes sense. I mean, he's, you know, a little behind on... Maybe a little behind. Maybe not that far behind anymore, actually. I think he was just clearing out his medals. I see him at 36 with uh, 9 blueprints, effective 45. Generic, meanwhile, is at 38 with 8 blueprints, effective 46. Very close now. All right, here we go. Aztec, show me the money. Why are you not going to the summit barrel that you've seen and is Please. likely required? Um, okay. Decisions? They're being made. Oh, are we going to a dark rafters check at a generic? Is he going to equalize the slam? This would go crazy. If he does it. He, he sees it's not a GB. You can see when it's a GB, so he knows it's not a GB. He's taking a dive and took a dive. Is not having it. Very unfortunate. Uh, this might be the race that gets him to learn how to do that. Because <laughs> the chat a... print did bring up a good point. He, um, Spike does have access to the check or the hint in Cave's lobby now. Hmm. Could be nice. I mean, that's like super easy to forget. That's very what, very whatever. Forgetting away the horde is like. A, a more egregious sin in my mind than forgetting to check one hint door that is away of the board. Okay, well, I guess they're kind of equivalent. Huh? Man, two sins. That's rough, man. Down bad. For the price of one. I know. He's scooping up his metal, his uh, bananas now, though. I think he's trying to push for the boss here. It's barely doable. Maybe not barely. Maybe, maybe there's a, like, a little bit of leeway. Maybe like 130 or so. Maybe. Kind of spitballing that number, I'm not sure. Diddy's metal in forest and turns up nothing. Mm. I wonder if he's gonna like try and go back to castle or something and oh he's going to Aztec. Here we go. Aztec boss time, let's go. We're getting dueling Aztec boss checks. I think. Mm. Do they have... does he have enough moves in order to get there? To the be. boss check? What do, what do you think he's missing? I think he's got it. No, yeah, Rocket Barrel doesn't play out oh. until later. Okay. It doesn't give you anything. Spike with a cheeky little check through the door, not needing triangle there. As long as it's a GB in there, that's pretty nice. That's a clever little peek. <laughs> Violently abusing the camera angle. Hashtag jobs, where's guitar? This is the million dollar question. <laughs> we have no idea. Generic has already cleared Tiny Temple, so he's got a pretty nice little CB edge on Spike here. Spike's gonna like run through here, do like the vulture, probably do the crown, and work his way to 117. But Generica is almost already done. I think he's just got to grab the Diddy ones here and then move on. Not sure enough, that's a Diddy medal, all right. Not bad at all.
There's the dink for Spike. There's the dink for generic. Off we go. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, but he wants the full metal. That makes sense. What is on this boss? The people need to know. I'm the people. I need to know. I like how Spike for a second there was like, I should continue clearing out Tiny Tet. Wait, no, hold on. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I think the Vulture is like a fine check. He would have gotten an instrument upgrade out of it. So, <laughs> the Vulture is always a fine check. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> it's it's one of those checks that you it's easier to peek than to do, which is pretty useful. Oh, no, just power and all that. Plus, the arena is behind it. This is yeah, yeah. He also does have Chunky's pineapple as well as homing ammo. All right, show me the money. What's on this boss? Yeah, it's take boss. This is what I wanted. Give it to me. If it's not here, it's on the summit barrel, but just give it to me right here. Oh, poop. No dice. Well, I lost. Unlucky. Next seed for me. Oof. Oh man, that means there's something on the Japes or Factory boss. That's really gross. That is an ugly 50-50. A level 6 boss or a level 7 boss? Oh, <laughs> Brutal. I hope it's I hope it's Factory, I think, because they're probably going to clear more of it. You need to get medals in Factory for something. That, that kind of sucks. It might be like... Doggedon 2 has something? Like, heck... Oh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> That's not good. All right, here we go. Summit barrel for Spike. It's time. Having pulled Rocket Barrel out of the Sprint cabin after piecing together that Sprint is the hinted item. Spike's gonna pull ahead here. It's gonna be really interesting to see what this ends up being. I am, I am also very interested in this. I think Gorilla Gon makes the most sense here. Think. It has been a long time since I've done a Batty Barrel Bandit. The only question mark I have is that the the metal in Factory is on the path to Chunky Kiro and T8, and that doesn't seem to be related to any move. For for the only metal that requires anything in Factory is DK's Mini Coconut or Blast, and they have both. So this isn't for factory metals at all. So something unrelated is on the factory metals. Maybe that's monkey port. Uh, this could be monkey port. Maybe it's gorilla gone. That's guitar. Okay, here we go. Now we're going. Now we're going. All right. Okay. So guitar is here. This also does make a lot of sense. So now we go get DK. I actually I think this like had to be I, guitar had to be coming soon. We were like running out of stuff to do. Oh, did that sneeze get caught? Dang, I, I took that sneeze like a couple feet from my camera and in the wrong direction, or a, a couple feet from my mic and in the wrong direction. So unfortunate. Dang old, but here we go. We got guitar. Let's see what's in the back of Aztec. Something's gonna be back here for sure. I think generic here is finally oh, realizing that we got he has something to use here. We got the, the llama's got a bean up his butt. Oh my god! Horrendous indigestion. He can't stomach What's it. And if we do remember that bean does have a potion, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and we did. And even more important than that, we got bee blast in Castle Underground, which was a hinted zone. Well, okay, it's but that's locked behind Punch, and Punch is only on the path to Chunky K rule. Let me cook. Well, it's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's only, it's merely unlikely. Merely unlikely. Let the bean leavers have a minute. <laughs> cook, cook, king, cook. <laughs> I want to see Grape. We need to get Grape to get to the Anthill GB. And sacks. Oh gosh, we actually need some sauce for that. Jeez. Maybe that's what we find in the um the factory metal rewards. Something there. 
But really, we just need Donkey. Donkey's the big the big prize to pull out of here, but I think you need something else out of guitar. You need something for Chunky Carol out of guitar still. So we shall see. Oh, what if guitar locks both slams? We know it locks one slam. What if it locks the other? Or if the other slam is slam locked, and you had to get the mill slam. That world exists, and sucks, but it exists. That would, that would be, that would be a tragic, tragic set of hints because it's very difficult to read something on the path to both slams, mainly because you very rarely find both of them. The most likely scenario for any guitar thing though is the back Aztec, so Spike's gonna have a, a jolly good time clearing out the back of it, but not the five door temple. The five door temple only has junk in it. It does have a potion, but it's a jump potion. Yeah, that's a very funny hint. <laughs> that is a very funny series of uh, hints right there. Family acquired in an hour 33. This seed kind of sucks. <laughs> that's that's pretty rough. That is not just happy to be here, folks. Yeah, oh boy. That said, the rest of the seed may solve itself relatively quickly. We've got Donkey's potion here. Hopefully it's... The, the best case scenario is that this is Bongo's. You take Bongo's to Galleon to pull something out of the five-door ship. What is Spike dumping for? Is he trying to get into Jeeves now? I can dig it. This makes a lot of sense. You want to, like, a 50-50 on the bosses, so, like, check the Jeeves boss to get the factory. And he has the slam, and he has coconut gun, and he knows that the peanut tunnel cage is way of the horde. True, there is a way of the horde there. There's so much that makes it makes a lot of sense to dump right now. Makes a ton of sense. Really unfortunate for for generic that he didn't pull a rocket barrel out of caves. That's gonna hurt him. Not not reading that sprint right. That's that's gonna put him in a bind. But he's headed to Japes first. Uh, I don't think there's any way around this. A lot of the time, the sprint cabin is done with Donkey, and in this case, the sprint cabin explicitly locks Donkey. So uh. You're not, you're not getting away with that. Whatever you find in Japes, though, you can sort of rule out as something to get Donkey, so... He doesn't know where Donkey is, but he knows he's not going to find Guitar in, in Japes. Whatever this item he's going to get is, is not Guitar. This could be Hunky Chunky, this could be Monkey Port, this could be... I think those are the two most likely items here. Could be Sax. I want to see Bongos on this coconut cage. Show me Bongos. Thank you for being kind. And it is a purple vial here. This is That's gotta be Monkey Port, right? Could be Sax, but I think Monkey Port makes a little more sense. Although it's kind of a wash. This is only a way of the horde. There's basically a clean 50 50, and it turned out to be Monkey Port. Monkey Port hinted to the lowlands, not on the path to anything else but P8, so. That kills our. Monkey Chunky and Elm Theory that was already dead, but that's okay. Don't mind me. Spike running straight to the way of the Horde uh, Galleon 5 door ship. Run right here. Here we go. Now, it's worth noting that Spike 100% has an in logic slam now. Now that he has Spring plus Guitar, the slam he got out of the Dark Raptors is in logic now. Which means any slam that Generic might find would either be... Well... It basically means that... Eh, I'm trying to... I had a thought in my head, and then it just kind of like ran away from me. You ever have that happen? It was a good yes. thought. I, I swear, it was a good thought, but you just kind oh, of... I'm sure. It's kind of escaped. Look at that, 50 GBs. Let's just, let's just talk about 50 GBs instead. So while that's going, here we go. Wait, wait the horde, wait the horde bonus barrel. Let's let's let, here we go. <laughs> so while we're playing this mini game, I do want to follow up on something I said before to avoid confusion. I had mentioned that orange diving is considered a glitch and therefore out of logic. That is only the case if you do not already have diving, as you've been seeing. 
Spike has been doing orange diving pretty quickly in order to dive a lot faster than he normally would be. He only started doing that after he picked up diving. If you orange dive or gun dive or do one of the other shenanigans divings before you have access to diving in a race preset as they're currently written, that is considered a glitch and that is a DQ. He's a prolific orange diver. He does a lot whenever I watch him. For of, people who want to get really, really good at playing DK64 Randomizer, the small things that Spike is doing in terms of his movement, absolutely critical and absolutely stuff that is not illegal. Necessarily. You know what? I'm going to have to cut you off here because I, I don't know how critical it is. I think a lot of the decisions made are... A lot of the, the game deciding decisions most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, are macro decisions. Things like picking what level to go to, looking at your hints and analyzing that and deciding, I want to clear japes, or I want to chase sprint, I want to chase coconut, whatever. Those like big high level decisions, a lot of the times those are what decide the races, and not necessarily the small things. So you don't need to be in too intimidated by the movement here. The movement isn't the whole, the sum total of the game. Deciphering the hints is a significant factor. Oh, of course. It's definitely the uh, chocolate drizzle on top of the sundae. That's true. And I'll tell you what, man. It is just fun to move in this game. I don't know I don't know what it is about this game, but it's just fun. You're just kind of moving. Every Kong has their own little wacky moveset and jumps at, like, different distances and, you know, just, like, piece together. What's the right way to go? Do I donkey kick here? Do I roll here? When do I jump out of my move? You just some fun about it. I don't know. It keeps me coming back. There is no way a game like this would have such a devoted following if it wasn't just fun to play at a fundamental level. It was fun to move in. Just good times. Oh yeah. Wait, where was Sax? I missed it. What the heck? Yeah, we were both kind of... What the heck? Who pulled... S Spike pulled Sax out of where? <laughs> out of what? <laughs> Is that a metal? Probably like Donkey's Metal or something. DK5 oh, Door there's Ship. DK. Oh, there's of course, DK5 we were. Hmm. Okay. That was the potion that was there. Womp womp. Alright, well, Sax makes a lot of sense. We need that for T8. Simple as that. Ain't no way to. Keep it simple. So we still need. Gorilla Gone. And Hunky Chunky. Ooh, Sp speaking of Sp Spike strats, Spike has also been known to start kick sliding up the side of this, the side of the hillside rather than climb up the vine. To indeterminate effect, I think it's like maybe it's probably a little more efficient. It's just very annoying to do. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> that's that's all I've got against it. I just don't like it because I don't want to. I don't want to do it. <laughs> o stand also is probably a cleaner way to do it. I don't know, but. I think it's faster, maybe a little more efficient. His climbing vines is like really slow. It puts you in a pretty good spot on the hillside. I don't know. I don't know. He's always innovating on ways to route places. This Australian beast. Like that Castle Underground for generic. I think he just doesn't want to believe in, in sprint. He just chooses to not believe in it. You know, me too, man. I don't want to live in the world where sprint is required. All the sprint stuff sucks. But the longer he does it, the further behind he's gonna fall. Spike is kinda cruising, right? We pick up Gorilla Gone at the end of this monster path, probably... Huh. I don't know where, but somewhere. I wonder if it's like charge on a boss and you have to. Oh, what the heck is that doing there? Strong Kong? Strong Kong's interesting. It's not that. important as far as I can tell, but. Probably not. So, what I'm kind of piecing together is that I don't think F Factory Metal is the weird hint to me. It's Key 8 and Chunky K rule, which suggests you're not. Whatever you get there is going to be used for something else. So, like, that could be Gorilla Gone there, but then, like, what do you use Guitar for? Oh, actually. Guitar is used in order to get to to free Donkey as well as one of the slams. The, one of the slams, free Donkey and Helm. Right, and for Helm that solves your key eight part of it. 
For Chunky K. Rule, it would have to lock both slams to solve that. Which I think is possible, so like, that is actually a... A realistic possibility. Given that we know one is locked by guitar, and guitar is on the path to Chunky K. Rule, it, like, is kind of likely. But there's another world where guitar locks Hunky Chunky somehow, and it's just really ugly. Hmm. I'm trying to piece it together. We got... Th Maybe the Troffenskopf has Gorilla Gone, and then the Metal has Hunky Chunky, and then there's like a Hunky Chunky game in Helm. Really, really trying to piece this one together. Spike is probably checking bosses for like two purposes here. One, he wants to try and solve the Troffenskopf hint, and two, if he found Dogodon 2 here, he would get pretty good information on where Hunky Chunky is. Because of that whole boss fill algorithm, whenever you find Dogodon 2, you have to find Hunky Chunky in or before that level. But, uh, this is looking No like dice on this one. We're now going to Factory, where we have to get a random metal and fight the boss and storage we can't forget key seven in storage i think the most likely scenario is it is diddy's barrel in storage because it is a or it is either yeah no it's diddy's barrel in storage because diving is on the path to key seven so i think it's just a diving mini game there's no other way for diving to make sense here so diddy's barrel it, and it's not chunky's barrel because punch is not on the path to key seven Right, you were right. That is double slam locked, isn't it? Well, that would suck. Maybe it's something else, and then we get key seven with that item. I'm not sure how diving ends up on the path to, to key seven here. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh boy, that would be a little spicy, wouldn't it? That would also put guitar get out on the of path Aztec, to key seven. No, that would. Because we, de we definitely needed some stuff in Aztec in order to complete the seed. So if there were any potions mm. that were locked there, diving is considered on the way to getting them. No, diving does not lock the entirety of level four. So that that the hints don't put the hints don't do that. The hints don't say if you if diving is on the path to something, it doesn't make you check the entirety of a level. That's just a little extra. And it, we actually know that it's not super duper locked because guitar is hinted to key eight and chunky K rule and not key seven. So even though our factory has our key seven, or probably has our key seven in storage, we know it is not. Oh wow, what is that? Can't be charged. We know it is not diving locked. Or we know it is not super duper locked because because of the one slam locked behind guitar and guitar not being on the path to P7. Hopefully that made sense. So it's not going to be Diddy's spring barrel, or it's not going to be Diddy's barrel and storage because that is super duper locked. And we know it can't be there. Charge is very interesting though. Maybe like a surprise last second blast check. Where did we get blast? Blast was Castle Underground, wasn't it? Punch lock? Oh, it was. It's not here. Punch is not on the path to E7. And if it is, then that's actually like a pretty big surprise. That would actually tell you to go back to Castle and try and find Hunky Chunky on the Castle Metals. That'd be kind of crazy. You almost want to like prove that Punch is actually required for Key 7 because that would give you a clue for Hunky Chunky, a really strong one. Shop action, maybe get to 60 here. Nope, Mike doesn't care. He's got 53 marks, but I don't know. He's probably not. Oh my god. All right, so Hunky Chunky just turned up on the factory metals. Okay, well, we need that. Okay. Excellent, excellent. That solves our castle metal, or our, our factory metal problem. We just need to solve our storage problem. Did Diving Lock Coconut? It actually did. Coconut diving was in the was... diving was in Lanky's fiber ship. So Power Hut was actually a really strong contender there, but with yeah, I mean that does make sense. Oh, that would do it though. That's for sure. I think we just found Key Seven. Great. Mm. Whoa, here we go. Now we're talking. So, oh boy. Are you- do you mean to tell me that Key 7 is in the Ant Hill, and we only got two hints for it? How? There's no way, right? Yep. There's no way! We got Mini Hinted, didn't we? We didn't get Mini Hinted. We didn't get Sax Hinted. Or we didn't get a Sax Path Hint. We didn't get a Mini Path Hint. We didn't get a Grape Path Hint, or if that is Grape, that's our Grape Path Hint. Key 7. Well, we didn't get a direct hint, because we knew that Donkey... Five door ship was way of the horde, and that gave us 
um, saxophone. Right. So we got direct hints for all the key seven stuff. We got, because Pineapple was hinted way of the Horde, and Pineapple got us mini. Sax was directly hinted way of the Horde. Bongos was hinted directly way of the Horde, which got us Sax. That is actually hilarious. I think Key 7 is in the anthill. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Sniper in a factory shop? We love that. Sure, why not? I'm not sure what you're going to do here. But you can't leave here. You gotta fight this boss for Doggedon 2, Gorilla Gun. And that explains why Hunky is on the path to Key 8, because we need Gorilla Gun for Key 8. Dang, that is a that's a doozy, that's for sure. <laughs> Whew. Take me if, back uh, to even even the creator of logic is saying that this is a rather obtuse line of logic to get there, you know that we're playing a uh, Flargra seed. I'm really surprised by that key 7, I tell you what. That is very surprising to me. Because all of the stuff needed to get key 7 was just directly hinted way of the Horde, instead of on paths where it would be much stronger information, right? If our mini was hinted path to key 7, then like we would be like, oh, well, of course, the anthill is still a contender, so that's probably our key 7. But we just didn't have that information. The only thing we had to go off of was diving and a mystery item in factory, which turned out to be grape. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a that's a bit of a surprise. It's not... It said that we had we had a hint that a factory metal was way of the horde, correct? Uh, we had factory metals on the path to Key 8 and Chunky K. Rule, and so that is Hunky Chunky, because this boss is on the path to Key 8 and Chunky K. Rule, because this boss is Gorilla Gone, and it will be Dogged On 2. There you go. Can't and fight that logic. Charge and storage just for a little extra bait. Love that. Not that, uh... Grape shooter might turn you around real quick. Wait a minute, hang on, I need that. <laughs> I know I need that. This is a little, a, a very surprising little level seven here. Yeah, diving just happened to lock everything on the end pad. Specifically, it locked sacks in the five door ship. Is the big one. That is sneaky. Jeez. If you got sacks hinted, it would be on the path to key seven and key eight. That would be such a great hint. And yet, bump, bump. and sure enough, green vial, chunky boss, dog it on to show me gorilla gun. Do not show me triangle, or that would be very annoying. <laughs> I would double over laughing if it do, was triangle. Do not ever do that. Absolutely not. I think I think spikes. Uh, I think spikes turn on the jets now. It's get this. Get five more GBs somewhere, probably just, like, run back to factory shops or something. Or, I don't know how many he has. He has an auto track. He only has 55 clicks, but he might have more right now. And then So there is an interesting the question that still is sitting in my mind right now, which is that we do know the inside of Giant Mushroom has one potion. I believe we have yet to find it? That was Spring. That was Spring. We got up at the splat in the middle. Alright, thank you. Yeah. And so Spring, two barrels, two... Uh, the Summit Barrel, to Guitar, to... I guess Guitar locks both your slams. I, I don't think there's any other way to interpret it. That's really nasty. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe there's a slam in Helm, that'd be really funny. That's a possibility. A slam in Diddy's Room in Helm. Or just, po or just past Helm. Well, it could be in Diddy's Room or Tiny's Room because it is Donkey, Diddy, Tiny. Or in, like, the Helm Arena. That would be crazy. That would go crazy if it was on the Helm Arena. Is that possible? No, it's not there, because Diving got you Sax. And Sax is the third room in Helm, so it wouldn't be on the Arena. It has to be in exactly Diddy's room in Helm. If it's in Helm. Or it could also just be like somewhere random on the back of Aztec. Like the Beetle Race. Let's just pick something awful. Quicksand Cave. Awful. Excellent. Love that. We love that. Or anything you've got in the back of Aztec. What did we get back there? We got... Donkey. We 
spent no time in the back of Aztec. It was just right. rush a shop. It was just get Donkey and then go get the, go beat the rest of the seed. Here we go. Dogodon 2 defeated for Gorilla Gone. Spike is running to get his key 7 and he's in go mode. No three hour seed today. I don't think there's anything that can trip him up either. Just run to forest. Go, go, go. Step on the gas. You're, you're two hours in and you're not in, or you're almost two hours in and you're not in Helm, which is very scary. <laughs> it ain't a pretty seed, but it'll, it'll get the job done. There's no way, right? What is he doing this for? There's no way he's going to get baited by this, right? This is a rang stand. We know it's a rang stand. It's the last blue there's, vial. There's no way, right? What is he doing? Oh, is he trying to follow Hunky Chunky? Did he just, like, forget that he has a hinted anthill GB? It was, like, a very early hint. Oh, no. Then why did, he, why did he pick Forest? Oh, he's just looking for GBs, duh. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, he's going to see the orang stand on the beanstalk. That's going to be very funny. He's not even looking. Wow, at the disrespect. Oh, he doesn't actually have the bean. He could have gotten the but bean. He but he knows where it is, I believe. Yeah, but like he's looking for GBs now, so he's not like he's not doing mean things. Very funny. Very funny game. But in short, run to the anthill, get your key 7, go beat Helm, eat the game. Simple. Just that simple. And get, get like two or three more GBs, whatever. Small, small time. You got three, you got three checks on your way here. You got, well, the anthill is the key. Uh, but the bean location has something. This Kasplat you're just running through is going to be a quick check. There's no way you do the owl, right? That's way too slow. Unfortunately, you already got Diddy's medal. You already got Chunky's medal. You've already got Tiny's medal. He's at 56. Oh boy, alright, he's not even close. Hey, right, Generic has sussed out. I gotta go back to the caves. Maybe he finds his sprint cabin. He gets moving. He got all he got the goods he needed at a factory. He got his grape, which is the big item. Unfortunately, he can't really do anything with it. He doesn't have sacks. He is at 60 GBs though, so if Spike has a uh, colossal misstep in trying to get to 60, then there's a chance. He runs to the Sprint Cabin. This is my Castle Underground item. It was Sprint. I gotta do the Sprint Cabin. <laughs> I gotta do the Sprint Cabin, of course. It's in the name. That was an interesting sound right there. 57. 57. 57. He just marked two blueprints, so he just remembered he has two blueprints. Oh boy, are we gonna get a nice spicy Helm Lobby gamble? I love a spicy Helm Lobby gamble. He does have Sniper Scope. Alright, just shockwave this idiot or ignore him. Don't don't try and throw oranges at Koshas. They just bat them back at you. You got Barry Bonds over here. Whoa! Barely dodged it. Hold on. And there is the the winning item for Rocket Barrel. He was probably hoping that was Guitar. <laughs> that, I can only imagine the rage that he is feeling right now at that. Yep. That was absolutely a exasperated, elongated sigh. Oh, we get to see our last hint. Here we go. Maybe, hopefully it hints like the Summit Barrel. That would probably bail him out a little bit. Aztec Funky Diddy. No, it hinted him Donkey's location. That is... Oh, really? That's crazy. Who would have thought? That, uh, that is a throw my controller through the screen moment. That is a uh, tragedy. You hate to see it. Now, alright. Barrels, rocket barrel. Alright, here we go. Give it to me. Spike desperately trying to find... Or, trying to find 60 here. Does he win? He won. Life is good. He's going to Helm. And there's really not much to trip him up here. I mean, actually nothing, I think. So, he's got the slam and everything. I wonder where the other slam is. Back Aztec is my best guess, but... I don't know. Something to Toro Lock? It's a lot of factory that we ignored. Right. So, 
Maybe it's a little, uh, a little well, cheeky little charge angle. You go up to R and D. Petition to add an O stain mini game in Helm. Petition denied. No. Denied. No. Do not second that. Do not up arrow that. Very quiet mini game music. Well Atmospheric. Once you focus on the reels. And there's the guitar. Oh boy. The sea just blew open for generic, and now he knows. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Finally, we get in there. He might make it to DK. Sub 2. Maybe. If he goes fast. Because he might check Cranky's first. He did get funky hinted, so he might skip Cranky's. That'd be pretty great. That'd be a good move, but maybe. Go, 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 off to Funkies! Cutscene cut skip number one. Good three-dimensional controls, right there. Interesting that... Oh, well, because Generic knows that that final that we purchased Donkey and that we have an explicit purchase location, he's ignoring Cranky right now, assuming correctly in this case that he it's absolute bait to go over there. Bit of a rocky scene. We got there in the end. And he will get his family sub two! Unbelievable. Unfortunately, if his only just. Unfortunately, his opponent is in Helm. That is, you hate to see it. <laughs> that is, uh, that is oof. I mean, oh, it was Donkey's Metal in Factory too, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's so mean. Oh, that's just toxic. <laughs> it's the way this all worked out is that you needed to read Sprint Cabin, and there's no other way that you could just avoid that. It had to be there. Yep. That's that's really tragic. But it's like finding Sprint before going into caves definitely helped him out there. There wasn't really any, like, reason to go into caves, either. Caves is largely unhinted. The igloo is foolish. That's all you gotta work with. You may or may not have had a slam, but you still had to piece together the spring cabin. It paid out big. Yeah, the, the of your underground hinted stuff, sprint was the only thing that made sense. We found two things there, sprint and blast, but sprint, but blast was behind a move that was hinted for different paths. So it didn't make sense to be Blast, it kind of had to be Sprint. And, uh, I guess nothing else turned up in the Underground. You would need a, like, Sniper, or DK, or Charge to get anything else, so... Where she goes. But Spike is in Helm! He has made it there. Made it there first, and he's on to the last room. Huzzah! Jared gets to play catch up and telephone and run through all the stuff. He's gonna get his sacks here, then he's gonna run to the anthill, get his key seven, and then he's gonna run back to the factory boss and yada yada and so on and so forth. And Even pretty, though our pretty two pretty runners are at such completely different points in the stream, I don't really think that Welcome to bonus it doesn't. They are a very much of equivalent gameplay. Like their their strats right up until 
one made a correct read and the other one didn't were on point entirely. And even here, looking at it, we've got generic dude is blowing through all of these. Well, this leads to this, leads to this, leads to this, at pretty much the exact same rate that Spike did, if not slightly faster, just because he's so laser focused. So for anyone who's looking at this and going, this is our semifinals with such a desperate, no, these are, this is incredibly competitive. These are 100% same skill level throughout. Are you kidding me? There's a Twirl minigame in Helm. Are you kidding me? You started with Twirl, by the way, so there was no chance that anyone gets caught by that, but that's just, that's just rude. That's, that's really rude. That could have been very annoyingly hinted. <laughs> it wasn't. Not today, not today. And that's the last Helm minigame. We're out of here. Is there another race after this? Not tonight, but there's another semifinal, and that is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, midday, I believe, like 1 Eastern? 2 Eastern? I think 2 Eastern. Do I have that right? Sarah, tell me. 2 Eastern. Thank you. 2 Eastern, that will be Riley versus Portal. Winner! Unhinted donkey phase. Oh, classic. <laughs> The winner of that gets the winner of this one, which appears to be our Australian hero, Spike, who is finishing off K. Rule as we speak. He has arrived. Is nice and simple. Nothing to say. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Counter, counter, pun. Counter punches. Counter grunts. Counter whatever. Counter bobs. Pick your poison. I go punches. I know other people go bobs. Those people are wrong. I'm right. As we've established. E7 in the Ant Hill. That's a classic. That's a throwback to one of my favorite seeds. Ah, those you know, those you know. <laughs> that one ended right about this this mark too. What do you know? Fun times. Well, enough reminiscing about the past. A punch to jetpack. Oh boy, that's. Might be one of my least favorite seeds. Oh boy, I would not. Ugh. Scary times. Generic is like catching up at a remarkable rate. He's just running straight to the right stuff. Running straight to Donkey Metal. Running straight to straight to Factory now. How much more to do here? I guess if you run back to the pillar up to the start here in the last 15, there's the balloon here, but it's not enough. I don't know if you heard the dink already. I guess he, he might have everybody else's metal. As we're winding down and kind oh, of going through what is our relative chores right now at during um, K rule. Just want to give a quick shout out to the music community that is constantly churning out new and exciting transpositions for this randomizer. Everything that you're hearing that is not original to DK64 is absolutely, it's a product of their work. I'm sure you've heard a bunch of the Rise of the Triad stuff. You've heard a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Anything like that, that's all coming from a bunch of really dedicated people who are thinking, how can I make this song kind of sound familiar inside of Donkey Kong 64? So shout out to all of them. And if you have any questions about that, you can find us in the music discussions channel on the Discord, which is at discord.dk64randomizer.com. 
great question. Where's the YouTube playlist? We'll tell you what. If you run on down to discord.dk64randomizer.com, you can see the, the pack builder that we got that lets you pick and choose what songs you want in your pack, and you can make a YouTube playlist out of it. So you can go window shopping. You can customize your playlist. That's what the filler track that I've got playing for like the start and the end interviews is just a bunch of music I picked out from there. Very easy to use. Good times. And of course it's a tiny phase to end it, because nothing nothing caps off a race quite like just sweating out the race time in, in the tiny phase. You're in the boot, you're like, oh my god, every single mistake you've ever made comes to mind. Like, oh my god, I, I can't believe it. it took me so long to get into caves. Why didn't I think of caves? Why didn't I think of the summit barrel? I forgot the barrel and snides for so long. Ah! I've been uh, critical of the K rule phase, referring to it as an auto scroller. And uh, one of the reasons that I personally don't play, uh, I don't fight the bosses at the end of my seeds. And uh, if there is a example of it being an auto scroller, it's this one. Well, it's 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 a one sided auto scroller because, or it's 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 a one way auto, it's a one sided auto scroller because we know this this race is not in doubt. There are two more. He's got to hit this toe like two more times, one more time now, and he's done. But you do not know that when you're in a race. The qualifier toes, generic in the qualifier, got to watch four people finish while he was in the phase. But now, Spike does not watch anyone finish as he finishes first place with a time in the race time of 2.07.56. And he advances to the finals. He will get the winner of tomorrow's matchup of Riley and Portal Man with the Blitz Championship for February. It's kind of February, kind of March. We we'll figured out. Y'all were smart people, y'all know. But a big GG! Mr. Spike. We'll see if we can grab him in for a second. A, a hefty C, but got there in the end. And we shall grab him. And we got Spike with us right now. How you doing, gamer? Confused. Confused. Oh yes. What seems to Me be too, the problem? Thanks. Um, I was certain I was going to get sniped by about twenty minutes. <laughs> but I don't know what that scene was. It's an ugly one. That's what it is. <laughs> that is not pretty. Uh, so, so what? What? What happened to generic dude? Because I know I screwed up on Diddy and the rolls. I'm assuming maybe guitar. Rocket barrel. The sprint cabin. The big, um, yeah, the big thing that separated you two was, I would say your biggest air quotes mistake was not go was not peaking the spring barrel and creme isles, whereas yeah. um, generic dude's biggest mistake in air quotes was not reading the um, was not reading the sprint cabin being what needed to happen. Right, and you, it, you, it didn't, you, didn't trust the, you didn't trust the yeah, spring hint for the mushroom inside. You cleared out the whole place, and then still, still hated it. And he didn't trust the sprint hint from Castle Underground. He didn't even find blast. He didn't have to trust that one. Although you kind of knew that oh, was good because punch. But yeah, I was worried about Hunky Chunky being on the DK middle after I spent so long going out of the DK middle. After spending so long going around doing nothing, I'm like, okay, well maybe. Maybe there's two chunky moves on the medals, and maybe there's just some gorilla gone path that I cannot foresee yet because it's level seven. And it's like, no, it's actually just a Doga two seed. All right. Well, generic has he's looking at gorilla gone, and he's decided, nah, 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 not. We're, we're not tap out. He's he's he does not need to to play through the rest of this one. It's it's done and dusted. He's got to pick this item up and then just run to helm. So a GG to him. Bit of a brutal seed. Let's go uh, see if we can hunt him down. Yeah, he'll be, yeah, he'll, he'll be here in a second. For a second. Yeah. But yeah, you having sprint in caves was kind of a the big difference. You could just like do the sprint cabin at the same time and just go for it. And he just didn't follow sprint, I guess. It's a definitely not something that you would think about because, especially in Logic, you need Baboon Balloon, Saxophone, and Sprint, and Lanky on top of all of that. So it's one of those 
are the stars aligning in such a specific way that that makes sense right and on top of that you usually just do it with donkey you can roll fast enough to beat the timer but exactly. you don't have donkey in fact you the, the check locks a donkey so you cannot do it with donkey yeah it was um I, I was expecting that to be guitar when i saw it and even though i peaked summit barrel it took me a little bit to process what rock barrel actually oh, took me a little morning, morning. gg spike gg's uh did they yeah. tell you what happened to me um is this sprint about incident? um sprint no okay the sprint yeah i mean i last location the guitar yeah that's not the thing that I think actually did me in this race. What actually did me in this race is oh, yeah. I go through all the process of getting key to and then go, ah, forest is 10 bananas. Walk right in. Don't read any of the hints. Oh, a little, little bit of an oops. But honestly, you were playing it so well that it didn't actually matter <laughs> for, for a while. It, yes. didn't, it didn't matter at all. It would have helped yeah. you to like go back to like caves and find or go back to castle and find punch. But Oh my god. Actually, like, I... wasn't a significant problem. I think the biggest roadblock in the seat was actually getting into factory. Yeah. The 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 point just from watching it, the point that you two diverged was when Spike read um and went after Sprint Cabin. That was mm -hmm. the point at which it was just a tale of two different um seats. Yeah. Or it was a tale I, of two different players. I legitimately forgot that Sprint that that sprint cabin existed until right before I did it because I just went to I just went to go to caves because I was just thinking I cannot think of anything that possibly exists here and then I thought wait it's that because you have to do that so infrequently and usually do, <clears throat> done with donkey despite the fact that it is sprint yeah. in the name it does not yeah. it does not bring sprint to mind <laughs> which is hilarious but <laughs> Also, why is this the second seed in a row I've had to do? I've had actually 100% required spider boss. Good one. Yep. That's funny. Yeah, I, I did notice the, the the reverberations of forest tiny metal did strike in the seed where it was like, oh, wait a minute. I better check that freaking metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I checked it not even thinking about Diddy because my mind for like, <laughs> when I got Diddy, I'm going to say almost an hour. My mind was like, okay, well, I know exactly where Diddy is, so let's not even think about the rest. But, oh, hey, this is feeling cursed. I have feather. I have diving. Surely there's something on the metal, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then Punch turns up and throws you for a loop. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, didn't uh, even, I didn't even get the punch for the longest time. I, because I knew tiny, tiny uh, forest. Yeah, that's the word. Tiny forest. I knew that for the longest time, and it's just what what is there to do as tiny Back in seven? Forest? There's Back... not much. Yeah, it's really awkward. And plus the uh, the anthill GB is hinted, so it's like, oh, well, it's probably just Diddy there, right? But no, that's key yeah. seven of all things. That was actually a really yeah. big surprise to me because it's it's I, yeah. all the stuff you need for key seven is just hinted way of the horde. You don't get a yeah. path hint for anything for key seven well, until you get you the grape in storage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I got the grape, I went okay. So. Donk so the the donkey five door ship gets you sacks, go to the anthill, get key seven, and just uh we get the rest of the Yeah, the rest of the seed streamlines once you solve sprint cabin, that's the big one. Yeah. And not forgetting the uh snide barrel, haha. Uh -huh. Whoops. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, who would do that? Uh, hey, yeah, hey, I gotta yeah, I get totally. I mean I get the ring yeah, in both ways. Yeah, don't worry. I also got Diddy, went to a different level, then immediately said, wait, wait, go back. Get that barrel. And one of you put off key five for a little longer than they should have too. I forgot who. I got mine instantly. Oh well. Caught. Gosh, where was <laughs> key five again? That was in the galley lobby swim. Oh, yeah, that would that that would definitely be me because I just was that one of the first things? <laughs> I no, I don't think it was. I think I, I just legitimately forgot to do it until I realized, wait, I could do this. It's hinted. Why am I not doing it? Oh. Isles, Isles checks be like that yeah. sometimes. Get you good. Yeah, I, I I will say I know I wasn't truly behind until I basically last location the the uh, rocket and the guitar, but I I felt behind as soon as I read that. Finally went back an hour in to read that hint that the castle metal was hinted. 
because I realized, oh, that punch, I absolutely last location. That was hinted. Just absolutely All in all, ended. though, all in all, I think what actually did you in is not something you're thinking about right now, is that you don't have a slam. I think that's yeah, what that we're doing in. in Spike. <laughs> we're, tell him where the slam is, Spike. Tell, you. tell him where the slam so, is. So, so uh, generic dude, I got a question to ask you. Are you a fan of uh, Twelin in the Dark? It was uh, Diddy Rafters in Forest. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Wow. I, I did that. I did that with. Um, did I even have Diddy? No, you did it with Chunky and Tiny. Yeah, I think yeah. like. I, I, when I got Diddy, that's one of the things I looked at, saw, it wasn't a golden banana, and then I did, I, my policy for that is, I do it once, if I don't get it, get out. That was, yeah, I, I, was, that was, uh, I was essentially just hoping, when, when you uh, weren't finishing for the longest time, I kind of figured to myself, this must be a terrible slam locations, because I was, I'm absolutely set to just go up to Helm, and just do helm Hang on. then Let get me... to the chunky part and just I gotta get cut my you off there because i'm cutting back to some game footage to witness witness the bean witness here it comes i'm glad that you noticed i hate that here it comes oh God. the bean yeah, the comes man. out of the llama's butt oh my God. rare sighting I, I was questioning whether i should have got this mid seed or not and i was <laughs> Generic dude, you have no idea how tilted I've been the last hour. You actually have no idea. When I'm streaming, I usually can't shut my mouth. I couldn't say a single word. And I saw the bean and I'm just like, Ugh, I'm so mad. You're gonna snipe Where me anyways. Where's the one. blast? <laughs> Castle, Castle Underground. Yeah. Yeah, that was also if it wasn't for the fact that Castle Underground was like specifically hinted so that it only could have been referring to um Sprint, the sprint. Not punch. The sprint, thank you. Um or punch. If it wasn't phrased that way, it was a hundred percent a bait to have also had B blast down there. Yeah, where which check is it actually? Chunky Crypt. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I just didn't. <laughs> you could have done check it. I actually could have done, and I just completely. It's not. It's not compatible with the yeah. existing hints, right? Punch is only hinted to Chunky K rule, and underground yeah, is hinted that, to Yeah, that's what it rule. So you that's can what does it. Yeah. yeah. You can kind of rule it out. And also, I mean, yeah, I knew it was a blue vial for the longest time, and I just kept getting more and more. Like I know it's a rain stand. Like, I oh my really god, Sp that. Spike! Did you actually see the beanstalk? Did you not see this? No, I got, I was told to peek I was told to peek this in chat just then, so I'm just gonna go grab it. It's I'm assuming that it's what you were just talking about, and this is a stand or something. It's a stand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a hundred percent a stand. It's well, pretty, I knew that pretty. feather was on the other path to Tiny K rule, so right. I didn't bother looking in here until I needed GBs. The feather hint was really strong. It kind of bricked a lot of feather stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Especially when you find mini randomly off of where was that? That was like. That was one of your main. I that was the pineapple it. cage. Yeah. Oh yeah, pineapple Eesh. cage. Yeesh. There it My is. Blue vial. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> World's yeah. biggest bait. We got a monkey's paw. We got a potion on uh, the beanstalk, but it was basically worthless. Yeah. That's that's funny. Th there were definitely portions when I was looking for the guitar that I I thought to myself, just, ah, yes, I'll just go get the helm hint. Wait, it's locked behind Donkey. Because Diddy is the second Kong, and I also didn't have Rocket, and it's just... That's an absolute disaster. It's a tragedy in motion. I'm glad, it I'm glad once I did get the Rocket, I immediately went to the check that had the guitar, but, you know... I didn't. It kind of. I peaked it and yeah. kind of forgot about it. Went to Aztec, just like, oh, Aztec has a high G, has a high count for small bananas on the trough and scoff. Maybe I cannot get enough with guns, and I got enough with guns. I really yeah. wanted to see that sooner because I was like, I'm pretty sure you can get 120 with what you got. I think it's possible. It, it might not be lower. No, I mean, it might have been lower. I'm not sure. Uh, you yeah. also had the the main aisle. Uh, three potion hint, and you'd seen two of them already, and the third one was on Summit. So, yeah. it wouldn't be anywhere else. Don't worry, I checked every single boss this seed. Damn. Yep. yep. Every sing and then I knew, then going through level 7, without Donkey, by the way, 
I knew it had to be, like, it clicked in my mind. I said to myself, okay, so the metal reward has to be hunky, and this boss has to be Dogged on 2 for Gorilla Gone. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yep. Same timing for me, too. And of course, and of course the hunky chunky is on Donkey's Metal. Just, of course. Naturally. Why Which would be requires else? either that early game coconut or the blast that I found. Jeez. Well, well, for me, it required donkey. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, you kind of need the don you kind of need donkey to pick up his own bananas. Weirdly enough, no one else is gonna touch him. I'm forgotten. How dare he? Uh, well, this is. Impressive. I had a great time in this tournament. I. I am just surprised I got here at this walking, point. Walking on the semifinals, hey, sometimes that's the way the that's the way the seed goes. Yeah. And I mean, you're not far from finishing this one, so. Yeah, you made it. You made it here, and there you go. Top four, is on, mm -hmm. but not top two. Yeah. Spike, you were headed on to the finals. You are getting tomorrow the winner of Riley and Portal Man. Oh boy. That'll be a match to see. Speaking of which, when is said match? That match is going to be 2 p.m. Eastern on DK64 speedruns, so you better be here. Every one of you in chat, I'm taking. I took attendance. I took attendance. You did. I didn't say I did, but I did. I took attendance. Y'all better be This here. will be on the final, and you will be graded on it. Indeed. Pop quiz. Surprise. Uh, Boris Tiny Metal. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Maybe. Um, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. We'll find out tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a lot of fun Before we finish up, uh, does anyone have anything they want to plug? Generic dude? Uh, I played Donk. Yeah, Perfect. <laughs> and we can find you on what's your Twitch handle? Uh, generic Dude One. Uh, Spike. Yo, follow me on Spike underscore SSBU for cameras breaking midstream, for salty dudes who don't know the difference between spring and sprint, and the occasional piano tunes. Uh, Lorac, do you have anything? You better follow DK64 speedruns. That's Ryan a lot. So, yeah. Yep, same here. Uh, I do sp whenever I'm on Twitch. It's usually on DK64 speedruns nowadays. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah. There we go. That's a wrap on today. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We're gonna send y'all off to uh, a man who deserves uh, a raid after a heroic effort on Wednesday night. We're gonna send y'all off to Revan. He's donking right now. He is doing something funny. Hunter settings? All right, well, I gotta know. I gotta know what he's doing. We're gonna roll in there. Go on. Send y'all off there and uh, hope y'all have a good one. All right, click raid. Raid created. Shipping y'all off. That's wrap right on the stream. Thanks for watching, team. Morning. 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 Morning.